episode three is underway. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Collider Live. That's right, Collider Live. Here from the Collider Live. Collider Live Studios? Why not? Collider <laughs> Studios here in Burbank. No, this is the California. Collider Live Studio. This now. is the Collider Live Studio. You're absolutely yeah. right. The wild man Josh McCuga joins me here hey, once buddy. again. And joining me back on the table, she is the Boston Firecracker or Massachusetts <laughs> Firecracker, somewhere where the Red Sox are around. Them. I don't like, but it doesn't matter. I like her. It's Roxy Stryer. I got my own camera, bitches. Hell yeah, you do. What's up, girl? Was, oh, I'm so happy to be back. I was so jealous listening to the show from yesterday. I like that. It was really bizarre. You got you hooked? I was like talking out loud, and then I was like, they can't hear me, man. <laughs> no. They can't What'd you think me. of the show? Did you like it? Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Um, just a quick question from Akuga. Oh, Can yeah. uh, name some of the Green Lanterns for me? Um, uh, how many are there? There's, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ha- Stop it. Uh, there's <laughs> Hal Hamlet and Steve Jones. You're wrong. Mm. Yeah. No, Hal Jordan. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I l- and I'm Steve Jones, right? John Stewart. Steve Sanders. Steve S- how do you not remember John Stewart? Guy Gardner. Oh, right, right. I Kyle Rayner. Wait, John there's Stewart. other ones? Look at, are so you kidding? Jessica at Cruz. At you, know so funny about, you know what's so funny about Roxy? Because Roxy... You do a show about DC. I stopped <laughs> watching all DC shows. <laughs> that, yeah... You watched a lot of them for a very long time to not know there's more uh, than one Green Lantern. Just so we know, the first Green Arrow or Arrow after show we ever did, we all missed the Hal Jordan Easter egg because I didn't know who Hal Jordan was. Uh-oh. Solid. Well, because Roxy is on, because when we came up with DC movie news back in the day, I remember you saying, I don't know a lot about DC yet, but I gotta do the research now. Look yeah, at that. Four, yeah. yeah. four years yeah. now? That was you, Christian. You started my DC career. Oh man, look at that. And brush those. Podcast yeah. people don't know you what you're when doing. I, when I found you delivering yeah. pizzas. I know. Yeah, I remember that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Solid. There you go. Yeah, so, yeah. there we go. Um, yeah. Woo! But um, anyway, so we. Starting uh, hot. Starting on hot. How's everybody doing today? Feeling everybody, great. Is everybody good? I'm feeling great. You know why? Because, like, once again, oh, we did it three right days now. in a row. I'm starting with the LaCroix. Okay. An orange LaCroix with some ice. Oh, yeah, and I even threw in a LaCroix in there. Hell. I think what we need to do, mm-hmm. is, and listen, hashtag a Collider Live, mm-hmm. whatever you want to do. Sure. Uh, I tweet at LaCroix, LaCroix, however they pronounce LaCroix. it. What? LaCroix. Why can't you say it? Is it LaCroix? No. It's LaCroix. <laughs> no. It's LaCroix. It's LaCroix. Okay. It should be LaCroix, but it's right. American, so they're okay. like, no, we're not going to pretend that we're actually right. French. Okay. LaCroix, yeah. have them send you some some a, a LaCroix glass that you can it. have so we don't have to keep watching you drink out of the Red Wedding Goblet. I love this thing. Well, by the way, you're going to have to Wait, better yet, I'm, I'm, wait, instead of that, that, sorry, real quick, better yes. yet, instead of you? that, how about a mic stand and another mic? <laughs> Right, Somebody we're, send us that. We're working instead on of it. the LaCroix. We got to get the views up past 40,000. Here, did take you it. just ask him who he is? Because who actually are you? Don't you don't really know Brett, do you? I'm just so confused. Roxy. Wait, let, let, Brett, let, Brett, Roxy. Yeah, I want Brett. I want Roxy to interview Brett right he now. He was just Go like ahead. here when I came on <laughs> right. Monday. So I kind of was like, oh, they have a new intern. I'll and move. Because I can't wait to hear this interview. Well, Brett, stand up. I oh, remember I seeing you once head? before. Yeah, I can't really place where. How do we know you? Um, <laughs> does uh, Comic Con three years ago you making me refer to you as Queen of the Internet ring any bell? Is that what happened? Yeah, is yeah. that true? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what happened? Couldn't have been three you years ago. It had to be two as, years ago. As Roxy, Wait, Queen of the Internet, and every time I saw no, you the whole three. weekend, you said that you made me refer to. Did, as when did you meet Roxy? There was a two-year period when I went by Queen of fucking everything, so that yeah. might have been right. Yeah. When, yeah. when did you meet? Did you legit? <laughs> I'm meet the Roxy? king of the one thinking. and only Comic Con I went to. Yeah. Uh, which was not oh, the last right. year's. Well, you got sick last year. Yeah, yeah. That was the one where I got sick this year. I couldn't go. Because you didn't invite me, right? And you know, I had that was I was tied up with right. not getting invited, um, and yeah, so, so that was okay. well, no, no jokes. That's, that's, why, that's why. by no, it's not C. Because that would have been a shitty little glass. It's everywhere. That thing didn't even budge. It, I, like, it slapped budged it a little bit. And I'm also an <laughs> internet like celebrity. But just so jokes aside, my... though, I honestly said I'm queen of the internet, Roxy. Yeah, yeah. And then I saw you over the weekend Solid at a couple play. different parties, and and I said Roxy, and you were like. And I went, you I know, so you, the oh, and I didn't know who you were. Right, yeah. You still no, don't, apparently. And I don't. Queen yeah. of the internet. But do you? So, what do you think of Brett so far? Um, I'm I'm confused because Why? at first I was <laughs> yeah I was in on it, but then we started talking about your hot wife and kids. Yeah. So you're married with family. Yeah, yeah. two kids. Why two does kids. that make you? Do you do you legit don't think that he could be married? What's wrong with him? Because I'd look too young and He's, attractive. I'll Ooh. tell you what. He is a handyman. He's probably hung everything in this office. He is a handyman. He is. Uh, he's a good dad. 
Uh, what, just it's because his he's son, I, I've talked to his son. He's yeah. an awesome kid. Yeah, the one that he told not to follow his dreams because they're they're crushing. Yeah, yeah. no, I told yeah. him just to like learn, manage your expectations, learn a trade or something. Yeah. That is, uh, yeah, no, he's in there doing homework because I said you you use your brain oh, unlike yeah. your father. Well, you got in trouble yesterday from your wife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I went in there and he was playing video games. You know me <laughs> from Comic Con. How do we know you? Where do you oh, come yeah. from? She, she hasn't. She remember she wasn't on Schmoes in Phase Six, so she's mm. she's very similar to maybe a new um, Collider. Uh, Worker. So why don't you inform Roxy and inform some of the Collider people who don't know you? Um, hi. Right. There you go. Here we go. Come on, Brett. Do it to the music. <laughs> now do it to the music. Come on. Do what? Tell, tell, tell <laughs> oh, your background. Well, All right. Well, we uh, I met Christian Harloff. Oh, keep the music going. Back in uh, what was that? 1999, yeah. I believe, yeah. doing stand up at uh, the. God, what was that? Called? Luna Park. Luna Park. Luna Park. And then um, cut to. Couple years ago, he yeah. finally started talking to me again and asked me to be on the show. Yeah. Um, well, the, why the didn't reason? You talk to him? No, why we did were. I, why didn't I? Yeah, oh, yes, and then Mark was, Riley. We, uh, yeah. we, okay, there's a b- better story to that. Yeah. All right, let's start the interview. Go, do the music again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, rewind because this isn't live or anything. Standing so you didn't flub that yeah. totally. Yeah, start again. You did Go great. Ahead. You did great. Chairs <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, let's everyone. Hey, bring Brett. It. I don't when, want uh, when Riley Riley's talking, you have to give him the mic. Oh, yeah. do I? Yeah. Yeah, and that I, was hard for you yesterday. Also, you you said you didn't know how to do the. Well, yeah, I've never done the professionalism, yeah. right, Hi. So here's what you do: is you professionalism. Thank <laughs> yeah. you, Roxy. You you talk into the microphone. You have a pause, and then you hand it to the person you're interviewing. Right. So he's he's getting used to it. But anyway, the point. Sounds is, good, Bakuga. Yeah. The, right. <laughs> back to you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the answer to the question is: Brett and I have been friends for a very long time. Um, since I. Really, since I moved out here, um, we worked together at, like you said, the California Pizza Kitchen on a very, very three long time ago. Three of us. Also, somehow I met Mark Riley. Um, wow. Brett and I did stand up together. We're in sketch comedy together. Uh, and then when I was. You're bearing the lead. What happened? Well, because th- he, when he came back around, was at your birthday party. It was at my birthday what party. Birthday? And uh, he, he, got the, he got the biggest laugh of the night. I was Luna, there. Yeah, you were there. He was there. So In comparison oh, yeah, Brett, to Brett, my roast, Brett, of course. Brett went up on stage, and he crushed. Crushed. And he crushed. And he talked about and he talked I don't about remember that. He, no. did, uh, he was great. No, so you were great. very funny, though. I'll oh, say wow. that you were very funny on uh, yesterday and the day before. So yeah. that's two days of fun. So you're a fan so far. I'm worried about your memory. Okay, I'm worried about your memory. <laughs> I was really drunk for a really long time. We <laughs> might have to do some yeah. flashcards that are the, the, this thing that can really open yeah. up the memory. A little and here, here's one of the things because we're, we're a brand new show. We've only been here uh, three days so far. So one of the rules that we also put down is let's not talk over one another. I did it before, and I'm not going to do that again. Everybody else, let each other. So we have two hours on this fucking show. Two hours to do so much, and we have so much to talk about today that we are we are going to be. Uh, what, what happened? What are you laughing about? Christian Harloff is a dad. I know, I know. <laughs> and I the am. chat's funny sometimes. The chat's funny. All right. Well, I don't want to hear about the chat right oh, no. now. Um, what I do want to hear about is what are you again. You're bearing the lead. He What's had the, the joke, the joke of the night. Yeah, what the, was, was it? What, he steps uh, yeah. on stage and he goes, "Hey guys, I'm Brett. I'm Christian's friend. Uh, it's my wife over there. She's not." One hell of a looker, really, but a great cook. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah. place just came Lost down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of remember amazing. that. Yeah, right, right. It was so good. So Brett is, uh, yeah. Brett's going to, the funny thing is Brett was a big hit for when we did the Schmoes No Show. Fans loved him. Uh, still do. Some of them. Uh, so he was a phase them. after the phase that I was. He was phase six. Was. He was, when we started on Collider, yeah, you were you were during the After Buzz years. Uh, we were over at the studio, and then he came in during phase six at the old Collider studio, mm. and we did a, a bit that will be returning, Brett to the Future, where he he doesn't know movies very well at all, and he goes and uh, and, and goes and sees them <laughs> and reviews them, and then um, we now have because of this show covers everything. We figured just, we're just gonna have Brett do a whole bunch of shit. We're gonna have have him do something in a little bit here, but I like you, man. I'm walking in. Oh, like first you. thing I want to do is take a sip of this. No, I'm not. I'm not drinking your. I'm not drinking your water now. Your water down of orangey water. I'm not going to leave you alone until you take one sip. You can, give it, you can give it the shittiest review of, the, of all time. By the end of the episode, I will casually have a. sip. I need you to have a sip because too I need pressure on I, your goblet of of juice. Wonders. It's not juice. It's <laughs> thank you. I'm, it's. I need you to do it because I have to show an article. Just do it. And if I don't, what's the article? Well, just take the sip of a drink. Give me, give me the real thing. Give me a new, uh, no, the fresh new cold. can. No, it's I don't want a cold. I don't like the cold drink. Take a sip You're not supposed of the to put cold. cold things in your body. Just take one it sip sh- of it. It freezes. It shocks your system. Roxy Stryer. I'm not Where'd you read that? that? Bogus facts. Right. Their energy to yeah. To they were not going to show this one thing. I just wanted you can you can say it's horrible. You can say it is the worst thing you ever tasted. I just want to get everyone to at least have a point of reference. Drink. Do you remember? Do you know why I'm not drinking it? 
Why? Oh, because oh, Roxy's biggest pet peeve <laughs> in the world is not sharing. Not a pet peeve. Not a pet peeve. A phobia. Oh, a phobia sharing of, glasses. Of sharing glasses. So you got to open why. that can right. and give her. So you know what? But, uh, but that's also, fine. Hold on. I've avoided it to this point. I've never tried coffee Alex, either. Alex, so. Marzona. Alex. Alex, we uh, we need some ice. We need some ice and a. Uh, a I don't glass want the ice in it. Don't put the ice in it. Get a, get a glass of ice. You don't want to. We need a glass. We have, have to have it. Why is it orange? That, Anybody who likes orange it. flavored shit is weird. You've got to try it. Uh, you got to try it. Because, uh, because here's the reason why. Yeah. Because I have an article I have to show you, and everybody here, here has tried it. So I need okay, to okay, reference okay. this article. Otherwise, you've, you're not part of the crew. I'm They've sorry. tried it. He's I'm tried sorry. it. You've never tried Say it? it? Say it out loud. Okay. Say it out loud. Say it proud. Don't. Don't share drinks. You just almost put your finger in that cup. I know, and that's what people do. Stop. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Do it. All right, so you got to sip oh a point around. Bill, what do you think? 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 How bad? It's not brutal. That's a stupid thing to say. It's, it's, is it garbage? How it's, orangey? It's hot garbage. Is it people who drink it garbage? <laughs> no. No, they're pretentious garbage. <laughs> <laughs> if he said anybody who drank it is garbage, he would be calling himself garbage. Right. A bunch of, now, now you're going to get a whole bunch of Lacroix drinkers <laughs> that are just coming after you. Right? Uh, that Lacroix lobby is. Whew. Yeah, I'm telling uh, you, but you're not. You're not lying. I don't want to do this. Right. Thank you, Alex. I, Al I will. Take do you want? Do you know who Alex is? Marzonia. Do you, do you know who he is? <laughs> he does questions. Yeah. No, I don't even know who he is. He does questions. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Questions. You're the man. Right. Appreciate he, he it. He writes questions. Right. If you'd asked me an hour ago, I wasn't clear on his go. name fully, but now I know. <laughs> now you know. All right, so now, Roxy's going to take some. Look how fucking much you poured me. It's not vodka. Oh, it's that would be better. Yeah. Be better. It's I can't wait for this. Right. It's uh, water. Uh, go ahead. And, you, and uh, what I want you to do, though, is tell us <laughs> tell us what you're, uh, because for the for the audio listeners. Yeah, go full some all yay. Yeah, tell, yeah, tell us what's happening right now. <laughs> well. So you're smelling I'm, it. I'm spinning it um, yeah. with you, my pinky out. You're smelling the ice. You're smelling the orange. Course. All right. I'm smelling yeah, just, it. It's go, really orangey yeah, smell. Go for it. All right, drink it. Come on. Don't lie if you like it. Don't lie if you like it. I'm going to take another sip. See? Yeah, because if you like it, you have to be honest. You can't just pull a Makuga. Um, no, I'm not. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, fine. It's All right, okay. Now. All right, Riley, it, pull it, up. I thought it was going to be way more orange That's what I'm saying. So Riley, it's very slight. It's more water with like a little kick of orange. All right, Riley, go ahead and put, put, that, uh, put that article up. Yeah, that uh, article right, is so going to be coming why, up. Here's a little bit why, and this article says, why your LaCroix obsession isn't so healthy. Yes. So, um, perfect. Wait, why yeah. did you just make me drink this before exactly. the party? I knew this was happening. So, I uh, knew this was going to happen. It turns out LaCroix... Wait, that is so fucked up. Not, not. as healthy as well, let's see why. he is assuming. But, oh, wait, but this is the problem. No, here, listen. What? This is the problem. <laughs> I used to do this with kids with tanning beds. And I'd be like, it's fine, it's fine. Don't and then I'd it. show them articles being like, you're going to get skin cancer and die. You're 75% more likely now, bitch. But this is the problem. With, this is, who wrote this, this article? Comes the same comes Shape.com. And as the same people who wrote the Tom Cruise Green Lantern article, right? No. No. Shape.com is okay. actually a very uh, legit, Sanders. a legit health okay. magazine. Hold on, yeah. let me take a sip of LaCroix. Chicks with abs are on the cover of right. this. Hold on, let me take a sip of this while you tell me. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're, 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 they're basically saying, you know, it's not as healthy as LaCroix is making you think it is. Well, what is, is it? Tell us uh, what's the problem. So that the, uh, when they say natural flavors, uh, yeah. that's similar to artificial ingredients. But they said there's no artificial. It says it on the back let of the can. The, let me see the can. This is all they're saying is that what LaCroix is saying yeah. is that they extract essential oils yes. from fruits, right. and that's where you get that. That's where you get it. But LaCroix wouldn't comment back to shape. Okay. Uh, so normally what they're saying here is natural flavors are often more similar to artificial ingredients and can sometimes include preservatives. But this isn't proven yet. So they, LaCroix could be telling... No comment from right. LaCroix. I don't so, understand but, why you legally can just write natural flavor. What I don't understand is why, are they, is why, why is Shape not writing something about Dasani putting salt in their waters to get people... I'm sure there's an the article bottle. there uh, that's if anybody the wants to look yeah, but for that's it. That's illegal. It should be. Anyway. Uh, here's it. BPA. The mm -hmm. thing about LaCroix that scares me the most can actually be found in the many packaged products. Roxy, take another sip. I'm not, I'm not doing it. BPA <laughs> as he's talking can about seep into food and drinks while LaCroix and other canned products Manufacturers quick to point out the blah 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 blah. Uh, it's this lining in the can. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Oh, oh, it's the can. The lining in the can, which happens for right. a lot of these preservatives. So what do they do with their bottles? You know what? Bottles cost like five times. Maybe uh, Lacroix is listening to us right now maybe. or taking notes because. Right. You're their they biggest have a dartboard fan. with the shape a magazine editor on there, I think, right? You now. know, okay. and they also say a carbonation you know I mean? is not good for the, the teeth. Uh, you know, the teeth, it's not good for it. You know, there is a little bit. It's going right. to right. wear well, down the enamel. Well, I'm, listen, it helped me, it helped me in my... Uh, How are my, your teeth? They're great. Do they feel okay? 
perfect. And you Diet Coke. Then this article is fine. You it's, all yeah. know that when you have a can, though, seriously, seriously, you yeah. need to wipe down the top before you drink My out of it. My wife has made this clear, Because yes. of rat shit. Like, that's yeah, yeah, not yeah. a joke. No, it's not. The same thing with, I have these, the big arrowhead bottles. And yeah. My, my, my wife will not let me go anywhere near the, the actual thing unless I wipe it down. I mean, it's... Smart. it's like alarms, like I would play that thing because yeah. like the alarms go off. They test own. those Croup. things, like random ones, yeah, yeah, and yeah. there is poop, right. poop, All legitimate right. poop. So well, okay, so here's the thing. Yeah, my uh, sister-in-law is a nutritionist. Okay, right. she's guys a master's in it, okay. and I have been taking what uh, doctors call gummy vitamins. What the hell is that? I take uh, gummy vitamins. Yeah. What does okay. this tell me about? So this? gummy vitamins are basically vitamins, but they're gummy, so you don't have to swallow them, and they actually taste kind of good. Really? Right? Yeah. yeah. It's like, like, they're like Flintstones when we were a kid. Correct, but, but they're no. adult they're vitamins, right, but they're right, gummies. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. So just something to basically make it go down easier. It literally looks like gummy bears, but they're shaped as fruit. Right. Or right. Different Correct, things like and that. they're supposed to have all the vitamins in it. Yeah. Now, she is the one that told me that you have to look for certain things on there because literally vitamins are not approved by the FDA. You can mm. put whatever you want in there. They can be approved by this outside organization. I forget what it's called, like PSD or PFA yeah, yeah, or something like that. PSD. Something like PTSD. that. PTSD. No, it's not group, that. Yeah, you get PTSD okay. from drinking? No, I, th- I legitimately think it's PSD. But okay. uh, so they are the ones that say that, yes, the ingredients that they are claiming on this bottle yeah. are actually in it. But the FDA hasn't approved anything. Basically meaning that some of the vi- gummy vitamins that say it on there could just be candy and right. I've been eating candy. No, it's all stupid. And so same with La Croix. Sure. La Croix? Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just had a yeah. mental stroke there. Right. That things could happen, but you One know, of those mental strokes. Well, I know. They, I'll tell you. And who. they say though, they say that cans are way more healthy than bottles good. because. So if you see a good beer in a can, yeah. drink it drink because it. it's way it's better for you. All right. Well, I think I can speak for the audience here. We're um, we're bored with this, so let's uh, <laughs> let's let's move along. And um, I mean, you're the one defending it the whole time, so oh, I'm giving. You, I'm just you. talking about it. But I was going to do like, a whole s- thing about the Monsanto well, weed killer no, in uh, oats. Well, but I'll tell you what. You know who I know would probably be upset with this conversation is the Afterthoughts boys because I know uh, uh, Jason Smelling. A.K.A. Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams, um, they are advocates as well. But of Lacroix, yeah. But they are also big fans of Brett Sheridan, right? Yeah. So they really want Brett Sheridan on Afterthoughts. They really want him. So after won't th- go. Well, wait. So Afterthoughts, by the way, you can find on on the Movie Talk podcast feed, and every every week they'll be breaking down this show for sure. Um, I've never been asked. No, well, I think that they have Me asked either. you. I think they reached out to you a couple times. It's back in it was a couple different iterations. You guys, uh, you guys uh, had a little bit of a thing, yeah. But now, but now everything's cool. But yeah, you you absolutely have been have been asked. Oh, okay. And okay. you probably will be asked again. And you'll probably cool. get, uh, ignore the DM and then say you've never been asked again. <laughs> so let's uh, let's but 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 they reached out. They did reach out to Brett recently. And mm. Brett, so just, can you stand up and actually get it out this time and, and tell us um, what happened with this exchange with you and? Uh, I feel and, like my head is chopped and, off. It's is not. not. All You're right, good. All right, and Ryan right, Snelling. God. Yeah. No, he, well, he uh, last night uh, he DM'd. He was like, yeah. "Hey, great to have you back." I'm yeah. like, "Great to be back." I like your. He's like, "Listen, I need to talk to you know Fernandez about getting you know people like you access to a good mic, right? Um, you you know, know so we can do the these interviews." And I, I, for some reason, this cracked me up because I just he thinks I'm just some dolt who can't work right, computers right. and things. So well, I'm like, come off a little goofy. They yeah, can. yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, I, I yeah, I, I know how to edit video. I have right. a Mac. I you have have to, have so a, you had to give the host nice, of Ast- you have to give the host of I have to thought your resume before you go. Yeah, on the yeah, show, right? yeah. Basically, I'm like, so that's why you haven't asked me in two years to I do this because you think I don't have a, uh, you know. Well, he's very, they're, they're very, and this is a good thing. It's very, they're very um, critical. Not, well, no, no, critical is part right. of their job. Okay. They're very specific, and they're, he's a perfectionist when it comes to like sound. And their sound, their, their show, it sounds incredible. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, some of their their show sounds some of our, better than some of our shows, but the content though. No, the content's really good. I'm telling you, like their, their show now, it's the best. You're it's never ever getting been. asked ever. No. But, but no, their show now is the best it's ever been. They Sick. really break it down. They've come. To, I think that him and Jay, Jay Williams have a very good dynamic, and they break down things in a way the fan perspective. And we don't really we don't mess with them because it's like the whole point of what Fernandez wanted to do is bring in two fans who watch all the content, can break it down from a fan's perspective. And sometimes they get things really wrong, and sometimes they get things really right. But it's 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 a helpful show. It's a good show, and they're legit fans, and they're good dudes. Um, like they were, they reached out right away during you know when I was gone and and it, I've told Snelling this many times. I think he's you know he's one of these guys. Like if he was on the show, he'd be the guy that would be fun to rip rip on because he's kind of this kind of paranoid dude and he plays it up on 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 screen. But he's, he's also got anxiety kind of stuff. He does, and but he's also a really good hearted dude. And you can tell in on the show, and you can tell in person he's he's a good dude. But he's you know, I've he's talked pain, to him on the phone the before. Ass too. Oh, but back when it was Numb Nuts and him. 
Am I not allowed to say that? <laughs> I w- uh, let's not even. No, not in a good way. Let's no, not to do a nice thing. Uh, I like I have smelling. A it's not even clarification good. question. Yeah. Brett, did you ever have one of your nipples pierced? No, do I have just really, it's, it's they're just pronounced? Doesn't it just seem like somebody who would have had a nipple pierced? I had my nipple pierced. <laughs> no, I, 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 I pierced my ears. I knew a guy who did a Prince Albert. Yeah, well, both ears. You had both ears. No, I, I. You know what it was? It was. It, uh, here's the story. We went to Walmart. Yeah, and my buddy. Yeah, Walmart. And I, that's a good place. Yeah. To do well, it. yeah. I mean, that's Nebraska. That's yeah. where you get your ears pierced. Ah. And uh, I, I, we wanted to split it. We were so cheap. We. And that's the hot spot. We're like, can we get you know the same price and each do one ear? And they're like, no, you got to pay full price both of you. I'm like, okay, then do it two times. So I was the first one with two in one ear. <laughs> You know, but, and there was the whole Sexy thing you look. couldn't do it in certain ear, right, you know. Right, right. Uh, right. These days nobody cares, but back yeah. then, you know. Interesting. Right. All right. I got my nipple pierced on senior week in high school. You I did? fainted. Nipple. God, you fainted. That yeah. Never, yeah. never because you, once. Oh, because we watched. You know, we watched. I was showing the some of the guys the the reaction to the it VR yesterday. Oh yeah. And like you freak out at that kind of stuff. I know. You yeah. must have been going nuts. Were you screaming like you do? I mean, you scream. The, your, the scream is uh, Beardo. Got it. Oh. And you just woke him up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's not the. Sc- <laughs> <laughs> that's legit. Real screams from a. What was that screams. first part? And that's just me going. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, how are those night terror screams going? Oh, the other night, and I had a really bad one. What happened? So is it, this night terror stuff that you yeah. have. For people who don't know, Josh has night terrors, and like he. You like you 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 can punch people, you can bite people, uh-huh. you can scream and yell, and you don't so, even know that you're doing it. Like, no, no, I no. think that's an excuse. I think you just like to punch people when you're sleeping. That's nah, true. 100% I'm a yeah. Uh, so this was about a week ago. Um, I had this night terror that somebody was. So what happened was Warner Brothers invited me on that uh, uh, the nun thing. Oh yeah. And then they were. It was all booked up, and she kind of. Oh, you're supposed to go to London. I was supposed to go to London right. to sleep in this abbey. It was like send a you promo. And, for, you and Beardo, and, and Beardo or were yeah, supposed yeah, yeah. to go over. And so I, I hadn't even seen a trailer for The Nun. I was like, oh, they're going to send me to London? This is awesome. And then I watched a trailer for The Nun, and I started getting really anxious. D- uh, please do not do that. <laughs> Ser- seriously, don't do that. It freaks him out? Freaks him out big time. Whoa. I'm se- I'm, it, I swear Wait, to God. You wouldn't go to London to see The Nun? Like, you wouldn't go... I freak- said stop it! <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it was on there. I think you just... I think, I think you just... It's still on. It's not I don't on hear. there. I don't even hear anything. So <laughs> let's put it on. It's not on anymore. <laughs> so uh, they invited me out. So then I see the trailer for the nun, and I start getting really nervous, like obs- obsessed, <laughs> <laughs> like that. So I tell Amanda that I'm going to London to do this thing, and she sees the trailer and she goes, "I wouldn't go if I were you." Really? What? Is- right. So. I'm I'm sleeping that night and I feel like the presence of a nun in the room in the dream and she's sitting on me oh, no. and then like crawling my neck and I'm and Amanda says I'm thrashing so she got out of bed and I rolled over and I was like ah! and, and she was like all right it's just a night terror you're wow. fine and like she poor, put me back your to poor sleep. wife so yeah. she at this point That's because so and up. then a day later they canceled you, me I was like okay. thank God you might never go to my grandmother's house again then because I thought I saw a ghost really no, it, it wasn't yeah. it was my it's not. what are the chances that Amanda called them and was like please no please disinvite yeah. him well she is friends with the PR girl so oh, she so may maybe have made a call. I feel like she definitely well, like yeah. well, let me that ask text. you a question with Amanda so when you got you guys been together now not, the collective for what four years so uh, no like three and a half yeah, three yeah. and a half three Coming and a half four years four. Yeah. so we have got, we're, we're at a place now where y- you get married you're all in you know that this mm-hmm. thing's gonna get already mm-hmm. happening so but it was tell me about take me back to where the first how do you you got to like set that up beforehand because the first night you sleep with someone not that, not that way but like you know when you yeah. like fall asleep with someone it's like being Ooh. a bedwetter like you gotta say it you at gotta some tell point. somebody yeah. like, yeah. because yes. you, if you yeah. spring that on somebody but oops so yeah by the way that right. could be was it a by the way or no 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 so um, it was like our third date and I finally convinced her to let me spend the night and uh, she was kind of like. Uh, I sleep on this side. And I was like, uh, just so you know, I have night terrors. <laughs> like really in passing kind of a yeah. thing. She's like, you have what now? And I kind of told her the story and she goes, okay. And so that legitimately that first yeah. night that we slept together, uh, she was still working for a guy that um, she was an assistant to a guy in Hollywood. Yeah. And he called at all hours of the night to do ridiculous errands. He was oh, She right. was like a pledge, yeah. right? He's a douche on the loose. He's a douche on the loose, yeah. yeah. Uh, one of few... Regardless. Yeah. Um, and so she, that first night, her phone rang in the middle of the night. And, yeah. 
<laughs> that was the most well timed yeah. sound bite. So uh, right. You got way quicker with it. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. All right, Atta come on. Boy. Stay on target. Atta Stay on boy. target. So, uh, Thank you, Beardo. Well done, Beardo. So her phone rings in the middle of the night and she answers it and I roll over and I was like, Am I dreaming? And she goes, No, but you were thrashing. Right. And so I have, here's the thing. What's a thrash I, look like? like? No, like a. <sighs> have you videotaped um, yourself? Uh, no, but I have I have talked to UCLA about a sleep study. Can I send Beardo over to do it? To put like a time lapse, like a camera, camera, and we can put it on the show. Well, I can guarantee you how this would happen. Or just it's, sit Beardo in the corner and let him do it. It's a parabola. It's a graph, right? So the yeah. more I drink, the more likely the night terrors will happen. Okay. So if you so get me all pretty, the diet, all the diet, yeah. so more really, it's more drinking because yeah. it kind of induce inside the head. It's the yeah. thought process that Correct. takes you there. Oh yeah. wow, look at that! Huh. So look, Josh McCuga being as honest as possible here. Thank you for sharing yeah, no your, your your stories. I'm glad that we can make a bit out of your hardship. <laughs> um, but no, there's it a lot of different sounds. things we're going to be talking about today, and we'll, we'll talk about some new. News going on in the world of movie news is what we do on this show. We have the big topic here is going to be relationship talk. There's some shit that's going down in this office with relationships that baffles me. That is inspiring, I think, <laughs> uh, also. Truly um, inspiring. It's truly inspiring. No, but there is. There's, there's, I think that it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a bit of a conversation. And, yeah. and I think it could be a good conversation. I think there's a romantic element behind it, but I also think there could be some skeptic and uh, skeptic thoughts behind it. So I'm, I'm curious to get into that conversation a little later with our, um, with our relationships. Yeah. I embarrassed the crap out of Roka the other day well, with his. That's what I'm yeah. saying. That's what I'm saying. We'll save that. You thing. should, you, you know, remember Deep Thoughts on Saturday Live? You yeah. should have a show called Skeptic Thoughts skeptic with Christian. Thoughts. <laughs> yeah, it's Christian. True. It's true. I like it. I wish we put some music on. It's never going to last. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Beardo, Beardo, Beardo had something to say. Beardo? Suck my balls, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> that Thanks, worked. Roca. Appreciate valid, it. Thanks, valid. Roca. Yeah, that's nice, Roca. Um, you know, let's do that. So Beardo actually pulled a whole bunch of sound clips, and I want to do that before we move on. I'll we'll have the audience participate, too. And speaking of that, let the audience know right now, if you're watching, hashtag Collider Live. Get involved in the conversation, because at the end of the uh, show today, around 1135, we're going to just do questions from you guys. Oh. And the way that we do it is hashtag Collider Live. And Dorian Parks and Riley and everybody's going to be checking it out. But you got to hashtag Collider Live. Start doing it now. We can, you can talk about whatever you want. You can ask us whatever you want. could be about movies. It could be about anything. Anything we've talked about in the last couple of shows. Anything you want us to talk about. Anything we're talking about today. So do that. The other thing for you guys is to let you know, inside of the description, Cody Hall has already put the uh, Apple's, Apple podcast feed oh, yeah. in the description of this video. So we are giving away three, count them, three Blu-rays for to Avengers Infinity War to you guys, and all you have to do is subscribe to the Apple podcast feed and leave a comment. We're going to go through the comments over the next couple of days. We're going to pick three three of you guys, three comments, and we are going to then read the winner either on Monday or Tuesday of next week to let you guys know who won those three copies. But you got to just, when you put your comments in there, what do be you creative. like? Be creative. Yeah, be creative. What do you like about the show? What are you hoping to see from the show? What do you what do you like for past iterations of the show? Or, again, favorite crew members. Don't, if you, I guarantee you, but I'm commenting because I want to get the Blu-ray. Then you're not going to get, you're not going to win. You don't even have a chance. To, don't, don't waste the, the typing. Um, Am I eligible? In no. different, you do what Jeff Snyder did. You know what that son of a bitch did? He, admit, he admitted <laughs> it. Count. No, no, he admitted it on, and this was, and it was brilliant. But uh, he admitted it on my, when I did one on one with him. Yeah. He used to submit questions to the Schmodown because you could do that. He would <laughs> submit it under an alias, so we would hope to get the question that he wrote. Oh, that snake. Oh Skin. my god. But, but but there was no I rule against my, it. I love there, my Snyder. There's no rule against it, and like he, he that's what Snyder does. He beats the system. <laughs> He yeah, beats he the is, system. He, he is kind of a he does. system guy. He, he, doesn't, he didn't break the rules. No. He just slid around them. What right. a asshole. Yeah, he is definitely yeah, a asshole. 100%. But anyway, so Beardo pulled okay. some um, Beardo pulled some um, some clips, some sound clips. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to guess. And I also want to have the audience guess. So Riley, let's uh let's look at the well, this one we'll do for YouTube. We're gonna do for the YouTube cool. comments. Um, you guys, when the clips pop up. You guys have to guess because there I, we listened to a couple of them during the break, so we will know. So we'll take a guess from the audience who we think it is. So let's and it's go with people that. from the office. It's not this is people from the office, and not the show, not the British show. Literally the right. collider. This offices. office. Can we get and a softball to start. Well, it depends. What it's Beardo's running it, so whatever Beardo wants to do. Um, Beardo, help me out, man. Beardo. Let's let's start with the first one and let the audience again. Riley, keep a look. We're on a little bit of a delay, obviously, from YouTube. So let's let's go. Beardo, play Wait, the. Play, uh, yeah. Sorry, we're, uh, you don't care if I played these already for you guys? No, it's okay because I want the audience to uh, to announce it uh, or su guess it, excuse me. And what I can do is um, 
if it's something you played already, we can just kind of have a little commentary on it. Okay. And, all right. Uh, this is the first one. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. So one more time. <laughs> and one more time. <laughs> all right. So you have th three plays there. Now, I would say that my initial guess when I heard this was incorrect. Mm -hmm. um, your initial was incorrect. Yeah. Correct. Uh, My initial was incorrect yeah. as well. We all thought it was the same person. We yeah. all thought it was the same exact person, and I'm very curious. Once this pops up, Riley, tell me when they start guessing. Uh, Wendy. All right. So <laughs> there's a Wendy on the table. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cody okay, Makuga. 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 Mr. Satin. Mr. Satin. Okay. So there's uh, a lot of Josh laughing. Right. Cody Hall. Cody Hall. Cody Hall. Makuga. Makuga. Wild man. Right. Makuga. Josh Makuga. Yeah. All right, so like Frosty. Okay. Kyle uh, Kazernitz. Okay. All right, so Kuga, at, Makuga, all right, Kuga, all right, so Makuga. So Makuga seems to be overwhelming. Frosty. I will tell you this. Myself, Roxy, and Makuga all guessed that it was Makuga. <laughs> yeah. It was not Makuga. It was Frosty. So <laughs> congratulations. Way to go, to Kyle. I saw it fly in. Kyle, I saw it. it. Congratulations. It's, it's a rough look, man. Hey, and one for Riley. Laugh. One for Riley. All right, all right. So Beardo, here is the second clip. Beardo, go ahead and play that. Girls can blow. Girls can blow. What? Do, again. Girls can blow. That's Makuga. That's Josh. Yeah. That's got to be Makuga. Yeah, that's what, definitely me. What you, is that? That was when I was yelling at um, oh, so you know what Roka oh. and Ellis oh. about a, in a beer pong game that got very, very heated. How are right. they going to guess? But what's the, what's the context of that? Uh, because we were we were playing and Roka had never played beer pong before. Right. And uh, in his do you believe that? Life? In his life, he I don't never believe played that. Beer pong at Florida before. State, I don't believe that. So uh, he, maybe he wasn't invited. That's pro I believe it. <laughs> that's probably yeah. So, I never played beer pong. That's not true. Really? No. I, you didn't? Drinking is not a game. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting to use that one a good for line. a very yeah. long time. No, well done, sir. It. Talk about a t-shirt. So, drinking card yes. games and yeah. you know, whatever. No, you wouldn't uh, do it. Listen, I, so I, you refuse? You turn your nose of it like like like. So a, is like, it a competition, Brett? It's no. It's just I don't know. I just didn't like. What was sadness. it? Euchre or something like that? There's Bob all, Euchre? Yeah. No, wasn't there a game called oh, Euchre? Bull, a card there's game? Bullshit. Or? There's you yeah. know. There's, yeah. A lot, there's a lot of games. Kings. Yeah. Flip yeah. Cup. Yeah. 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 Every time yeah. that you flip cut. Yeah. I didn't quarters. Know any of that. All right. Uh, so that's fine. Thanks for ruining it. I so appreciate that. that sound clip. <laughs> we're playing Roca and. Uh, the ball came and was twirling around, so yep. Perry blew it out. Oh, okay. Right? And we had never set the precedent that anybody could blow. So we threw, and then Roca just, he the ball stopped and he just starts blowing and the ball comes oh, okay. out. Which you can do, but that's not allowed. Yeah. So we got in this like heated match and he's like, oh, I can just do it all the time. We didn't set the ground rules. And then I was like, all right, here we go. Here's a glass of Roca. Right. Well, that's, and that's on, that's and still that's, on Clyde. It's on the video. So but, It's on the old BTS. All right, so that was Makuga. But for the next one, even if it's you, don't give it up yet until we let the audience go. Third date at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let, third date at least. <laughs> right, Roxy. All right, uh, Beardo, play number three. Just look at that precision. <laughs> oh, I know exactly. The Dos Equis guy? Right. What that is. All right, so <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to guess cuz I know what that is, but Roxy, do you, what do you think it is? Play one, it again. One, one more time. Just look at that precision. <laughs> do, you, do you know what it is? <laughs> yes. I right. have no idea. All right, Roxy, try to guess uh, what that you think that is. Who do you think that is? Who? One more time, Beardo. I can't even Just look at that precision. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, the, the chat. Do they know what it is? They know what it is. They know what it is. They know it is. It's Roca. It's yeah. Ro Roca had a Pollo Loco commercial. I, I can you play? Like, can you play the commercial? In the I background? was going to guess that, but it felt racist to guess that. Well, but it, no. Well, he he. So he went on. He had a Pollo Loco commercial, uh -huh. and he and he did it. And he did this accent, and Fernandez gives him shit about it all the time. But like he. It, look, I paid the guy's bills, and, he, and sure. I would take. Do you the remember when the Schmodown was using it? They were yeah, throwing yeah, it yeah. at him, and he just goes right back. Outlaw Stellies go. That thing I did, paid for my car. It, it, look, it, it, it's it's a gig. You take the gig, take and you do whatever gig. accent you have to do. Uh, but it's, national wow. commercial, yeah. But we're allowed to make fun of it. Yo, uh, you yeah. make so much oh, money. So, off are, those? are you playing? Who's Used playing? To. Who's playing what that makes video? El Folio Locos, new hand carved chicken salad. So yeah, you can tell it's him. Our expert grill masters, like Roberto here, skillfully hand carve our fresh fire grilled chicken breast to order for our new Southwest bacon salad. And our mango avocado salad with perfectly ripe avocado. It's so Just good. Look at that precision. Oh, <laughs> look at that precision. Really amazing with a knife. Listen. He's still working on his spoonsmanship. <laughs> please pull. Please pull. He's still working on his spoonsmanship. That's please so pull good. that. All right. So that the, so the audi audience got it. All right, the audience. Oh got yeah. That. The, the audience. Got audience it. got that already. Okay. All right. Oh, let's God. do. Let's do uh, two more. That's after. Uh, one sec. Do you have two more? Yeah, I got one. Okay. Give me that throat, boy. Well, yeah, we know what that easy. is. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's too easy. Go I ahead. can't tell any of you. You don't know that You one. know who that is? Do it again. 
Give me that throat, boy. No. What? Wow, all right. Who do you think it is? Send a, I have no idea. Everyone's Make a guess. All the audience There's is only 12 people that work here. Audience is going to get that, right? They got that. Give me that I'm throat, they're, boy. They're, they're not, they're, they haven't stopped talking about Roka. So. Okay. <laughs> is it somebody in this room? No. No. I don't know. Somebody that's been in one this more, room. One more time. Who is Give me right, that throat, boy. Good. They got that, though, right? Yeah. I have no. I literally have no idea. That's, yeah, everybody's got that. That's Ellis. So no, it's not. That is Ellis. How are you guys hearing these? Because what? Play it again. Give me that throat, boy. That's when he sets oh, up Christian. I can tell it's him now. Slowdown. So when I, I was, tell I would do, call me Golden Throat, and when I was doing one bit, and he and he said, "Give me that throat, it boy." It sounded and I like you up. more. Really? Yeah. No. Right. I, I'm very good at this game. All right, you let's are. let's <laughs> do let's do the last. Remember when we played this with the the uh, uh, the, uh, the sound clip? Oh right, right the right, game. game. I, I'll tell you what, um, the audience though, the audience is crushing it. The only one that they missed was the one that we all missed. Right. They're crushing it so far. Let's do let's do one more beer. Let's see if we got something good. You're such an idiot. That was one we did before, right? To, to Can you play it again? <laughs> You're such an idiot. Is that right. me? I know who that right. is. So wait, it sounds like Makuga. It sounds like Makuga. One more time. I don't think it does. One more time. You're such an idiot. Oh no, that's not me. I know who that is. You know who do you think it is? I think it's Roka. Who? Do you, so one more time. You're such an idiot. Oh, maybe. It oh, is. I could hear that now. Maybe it is Roka. Let's. But I don't know. All right. So let's. I. I it does. The sound, chat is who do confused. They think? Who do they think? One, on. more, one Makuga, more time. One more time, Beardo. Ellis. One more time, Beardo. Roka. Such an idiot. No, it's not Ellis. Ellis. No. Roka, Roka, no Roka, 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 Roka. Yeah. Ellis, Roka, 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 Makuga, Makuga, Roka, Roka, right. Roka, Roka, Roka. Most right. of everybody. All right. One last time. You're such an idiot. I can hear Roka. I think it's That's Roka. Roka. Yeah. Roka. Yeah. Roka. It is Roka. All right. So Roka yeah. was the star of the sound wow. clip show. I think and we should. I, think I like that bit. Me too. I like that bit. It'll be fun if they I don't like have to lose something if I lose, because I'll lose every time. Yeah. I just get, We just gave Beardo a lot more work. I, li I like that you're not good at it, because it makes it a bit more fun. <laughs> you, you know, so it would be yeah. cool if Beardo just didn't do all Roka and make it kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, Beardo, <laughs> give Beardo, the... Beardo a break. Beardo has been crushing it, by the way. Beardo has been uh, he's, a good dude. he's been doing... Ungrateful cock. <laughs> <laughs> was that Ellis? <laughs> that was yes. Ellis. Yeah! yeah! You're right, Beardo. You're right. I like that Beardo is kind of like... Thanks, um, it, it was like Wally. He's, he's just kind of talking, in, in, or like Bumblebee in yes. the Transformers. He's just kind of talking through sound clips. You really uh, pronounce the e. What Wa is it? Wally. 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 Uh, Wally. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, it's, Wally. again, my wife was giving me shit for for, for pronouncing my stuff. Dorian. Where's your New York accent? I was like, it's it's there. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, you're really good, actually. I listened to the show on yeah. one point two five, and I can understand you clearest of everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, that Christian, Dorian just uh, slacked me and said that's what Roca calls him every day. What is that? You're such an idiot. You, oh, is that what it is? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Roka Something does, like that. That's the big brother, little brother complex. Okay. They're hysterical. They're really funny to watch. Can I tell and, a quick yes. Beardo story real quick? It depends. Okay. It's, it's quick. All right. So he took me, uh, for the wangers, they they said, we want to oh, yeah. mic you up and take you to he said. Uh, her, her tertiary. Right. What's that movie called? Uh, her hereditary. 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 Thank you. There you go. Her tertiary. Hereditary. Her tertiary. Mm -hmm. her tertiary. Yeah. 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 I just JT'd that. Oh, that. God. What's that? That's that's, that's, that's the music that? from Hereditary. Well, well, wait, he's he's no wait. So the first thing when he was playing, the, he can play the music for Hereditary. It fits the bit. Okay. <laughs> so so play the music. This is too nerve wracking for I you. Don't like, it's come on, you got anyway. You can get through it. So we're in we're in the movie. Stop it now. You can stop it. That was Riley. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Play the music. Oh my God. <laughs> No, and now there's like some hissing that's gonna happen. It's no hissing. It just reminds me of this. Just, just get through the story, I'm, man. Sorry. Anyway. So, sorry. <laughs> shut up, everybody. <laughs> so, uh, we're in the movie, and I'm freaking out, and I'm sweating, and I turned to Beardo, and I was like, "How much longer is this?" And he goes, "Oh, well, like 45, 50 minutes." And I was like, "Oh God!" And he's like, "Shh." Like he shushed me to get back to the movie. I was gonna punch him. Yeah, well, but that movie is not. No, nah, I not good understand why he would shush you if you were talking during a movie. He just can't control himself. He it's, can't control himself. Roxy, is that not no. a thing that people do? Yeah. People you thought it was fake. Shush whoever. People thought it was fake, by the way, all the yes. reactions. Do you know that the It, so the It cast reacted to Josh freaking out during <laughs> VR? Mm -hmm. It has 850,000 views. That's, That's amazing. Ridiculous. It is incredible. We have to look at it yesterday because people like watching you freak out. And a lot of people yeah. think it's fake. It's it, not, I can tell you it's not fake. It's not. Um, yeah, Collider he Live. Shushed me. Yeah, Collider Live, Roxy <laughs> Stryer, Josh McCuga, uh, Mark Riley, and Brett Sheridan all 
hanging out, talking, shooting the shit. And like I said before, hashtag Collider Live. Get those questions out there because we're going to be going through those. And it's all you guys today. Q&A for the last half an hour of the show. Hashtag Collider Live. And once again, go to the uh, iTunes or Apple Podcast feed. Subscribe to that feed. Leave a comment in order for you guys to win that Blu-ray. Three Blu-rays were given away of the Avengers Infinity War. Um, Brett Sheridan. I have a question for you. Yes, sir. So yesterday, we sent you out to uh, go interview people. Genius. Uh, yeah, so at, the, uh, at the movie theater. I almost lied and said nobody was there. Did so. you? <laughs> so tell me, take me through that experience. Like, well, so you, it was hot. Oh, it was hot as hell. Yeah. I walked over there, and I'm like, I didn't, I didn't want to do it. I did, yeah. It's way out of my comfort zone. And I'm looking at all these people, and I'm kind of looking at my phone, waiting for Copster to, and I'm like, what am I? And I didn't know where to stand, like where the best place to grab them, because it was like there's that little escalator going up. Right, right. And I don't know if people are coming out of the ticket line. There were people sitting on the benches by the restaurant. Right. I just didn't know what to do, so I kind of just walked around for a little bit, which probably made people more creeped out. Mm -hmm. And right. you had no mic, no situation. No, he just had his phone. He just had his phone, which was amazing. The one guy's just like, I'm going to see this, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Yeah. And he walked away. It was great. <laughs> yeah. So what I didn't find is what I – so one of the things, too, and Cody came up afterwards, because Cody used to work at a movie theater, and he, and he came up to me um, – and we talked afterwards, and he's like, "Just to let you know, during those bits, you know, it's 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 not illegal, but it's it, the that the the workers they're not supposed to talk to press, right? So, which I had no idea. So, he told me afterwards, which I thought was cool, to come approach me afterwards to have the conversation about it. We did, um, and what I said, what we said was the other thing is no one's going to think Brett's press with, <laughs> with with the phone, but what we'll do is we'll make sure, like, because Gil is yeah, buddy, it's the phone this, and this guy Gil was given away, you know, he was." really plug in AMC and I thought he did sure. a good job doing it but Brett was going around wait Cody why is that though so what, what what's the uh, what, what's the the deal with the with the press stuff though too why don't they want you talking to the press I uh, honestly have no idea but they spent like <laughs> 10 minutes during our orientation when I was hired telling us you can't talk to press do you talk about the theater that you worked at the, the chain you worked at or you rather me not, not yeah say? it was a Regal okay so you worked at so Regal but Regal <laughs> So do Regal and AMC have the same policies, or you don't know? Uh, I would assume so. Would assume They're so, right. major chains. I don't know. I right. would guess it's because they don't trust their employees so that aren't trained gonna with what yeah. they're going to say. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, and it makes sense, too. But again, that's why with, with, with Brett with the phone, it's like, who the hell's going to think Because well, usually you would think that the press is coming in to do one of two things, right? Either talk to them about the rising ticket prices, or do you guys think the food here is healthy? And, right. and the cinema's like, don't tell them you poop Wh in the popcorn. Which, when you think right. about that, that makes sense. You yes. Know, too. Yeah. What about movies? Like, big, big movies. Like, you don't hey, spoil uh, stuff. what happened at the yeah, end of yeah, yeah, Avengers yeah. Infinity. I, I can understand it. I, d I definitely understand it. And I wasn't, you know, thinking about that while we were doing the bit. So, you know, um, we uh, we'll just we'll just be careful again. And like I said, when Brett's got the phone, who's going to think he's pressing? You have a conversation with him. Like, uh, however, we are going to do that. But Brett, the other thing I want you to do, what we have to do is uh -huh. we're going to we're going to check in with Frank, Frank the editor. All right. Um, but I think, I think that we'll actually be able to get video. I think is that true, Beardo? It's a work in progress, but we're uh, going to give it a shot. We'll check it out. All right, we're going to give it a shot. So, Brett, go and talk to Frank, the right. editor, and then I want you to stay out there, though, um, because then we're going to interview the rest of the office with Brett to get Brett's interview skills better, because they're not great right now. Uh, he's, yeah, he's, you need a, the mic. he's a work Brett in progress. He already failed his first part. He yeah. asked well, if he no, needed the mic. Right, just just, just, just get out there, do, will you? Do you need the mic? Do we need the mic? No, just scream at the top of your lungs. And, oh, wait, and so, do you live in a fucking barn? I know. So, uh, yeah, he does. I'm here. Yeah. I got it. All right, you're good. So, we're going to set Brett. Brett's going to get set up, and what we hope is that you guys will be able to We'll at least be able to see the video from here. Um, Cody, Beardo, will they be able to see it? Uh, they'll be able to see it from where we're looking at it? It'll be the wide shot. All right, so that looks you like guys, the old Josh right, So show. you guys can see Brett. I actually like him out there. Can we keep him out there for the rest of the, the time? For the it's a lot more comfortable. Yeah, all right. So it's frozen already. <laughs> so not working out great. But let's see. Let's let's start to – all right, go ahead, Brett. Go walk over to Frank, the editor, and, and let's see. Uh, Brett let's, looks good in 420. He does. He looks good. Go walk over to Frank. <laughs> this is it? Yeah, that's it. Knock on the door. Yeah, knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Knock on the he door. He said no. Doesn't I matter. Heard. Now it's like predator. Knock on the door. Frank, let him in. <laughs> yeah, in. So oh, it's it. open. It's oh, open. it so is. Open. Right. I thought there was right. a lock. Alex, go in there. Hey, so, there he is. Should I? Yeah, Where we got a camera this Frank. time. Hey, How right. you doing, Frank? It was so nice Frank. meeting you yesterday. Yeah, he's uh, a gorgeous guy. So, in, so Brett, right? Let's let's find out more about Frank. So give us a. How would you interview? How would you interview Frank? And let us know more about him and how much he hates Collider Live and the wrestling podcast. Um. Okay. So Frank, how how'd you get started working here at Collider? Are doing this for real? Yeah. All right. Uh, I drunkenly answered a Craigslist ad that Dennis posted. 
Wonderful, wonderful. And you've been here how long? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Wow. And I haven't seen you. <laughs> he lives in a cave. You just, oh, I guess, yeah, that's because you live in this little cave. Do you like your cave? Uh, I used to until about uh, two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Um, do they feed you here at all? Uh, never. never. They, they don't even slip a sandwich under the door or anything? <laughs> <laughs> they could pay for. It. I guess you want to be Riley laughing on the other side. of the <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. These guys are great. I, I'm, right, I'd like to ask. I'm going to ask Frank a question. If you can be my, uh, you can be my interpreter here. All Brett. right. So Frank, tell tell us. Um, you had you had a, quite a day yesterday. It was um, you were. I think you got bombarded by sound. Can you tell a little of this about that? Uh, you, yeah, you had a, quite a day yesterday. You were bombarded I'm, by sound. How, how how was that? Let me. I don't understand it. I don't understand why you need to scream about wrestling for an hour. It's not us. Three times a week. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's what garbage people do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Brett, both sides. Brett, let me. So, all right. If, why don't you ask Frank one more question here? To um, is he? What would you rather have? Would you rather have? Because uh, I asked him this once before. Would you rather have Collider Live five days a week? or the wrestling podcast once a week? Okay, would you rather have Collider Live five days a week or the wrestling podcast one day a week? So last time I got this hypothetical, both things happened. <laughs> so am, am I getting Collider Live five days a week now? Is that the... Uh... No. Are, are we getting it five days a week? No, we don't have the strength to do that. We don't have the strength. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, good. All Wonderful. Right. Thank you for talking to me. All right. Yeah, can uh, you ask Christian to keep using that megaphone too? <laughs> oh, I'm loving that. Oh God! <laughs> Frank, uh, we're, we're big fans over here. You're, you're, oh boy! You're an amazing editor. You have a, you have a lot of skill, and uh, you look like Frank Zabka. All right, yeah. all right. Frank so, Zabka. What is Billy Zabka's? Uh, yeah. Brother? My favorite Zabka. part about Brett right now is like you know when you watch the news how somebody's feeding you something yeah. through the earpiece, but you're talking at the same time, so there's not just silence. When you're not feeding him questions, th- he's just sitting there silently oh, waiting the for it to well, finish. Brett, I'm not going to be. Thanks I'm, for the lesson, Roxy. Yeah. You got You got to start speaking when he yeah. starts speaking. Brett, I'm not going to be your crutch anymore. So I want you to go. Is, is Fernandez in the office yet? Well, you know, I, there's somebody I haven't even met yet, right, and go I'm going to go over to him right, right now. I don't know why we haven't been formally introduced yet. Oh, I'm cutting out. So, so you're going to Jack so or Dorian? Dorian. Who is Dorian? Dorian. Dorian. Yes. Uh, oh, that this. I guess I can't go this far. Yeah, you nice meeting no, you, Dorian. Good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're oh, good. you're good. Go I back. heard it going. You're good. You're fine. Don't worry. You, just you leave when we, when we say get the hell out of here. You're all right. <laughs> fix it. Fix all it. Right. All right. So go. So t- talk to Dorian and ask uh, whatever questions you want. to Actually, kn- see, don't stand yeah. there quietly while well, Christian's get, feeding get you. Get to know the man. <laughs> well, uh, Dorian, my question is: Do you think they're embarrassed of me or you? Why would they not introduce us? Probably me. I think they're embarrassed of me right now. I can't hear what's going on right now. Um, we're <laughs> <laughs> What's going on right now? <laughs> they're t- they're teaching me how to be a great correspondent. Yeah, um, so it's not working. It's not working yeah. at all. No, right. no. So Rock. what about what about Jack? When you interview Jack there, you've ne- you've met Jack. I before? met Jack. Jack. Jack remembers my name. I'm glad you said his name because I didn't remember it. <laughs> Hi, Brett. How are you? Yeah. So doing wonderful. Tell, wonderful. Tell Jack that the Afterthoughts guys have no idea who he is. Who is he? Uh, the Afterthoughts guys have no idea who you are. Who are you exactly? Um, I'm exactly who the Afterthoughts guys want me to be. Oh, wow. such a British answer. I know, and it's, it's a charming, just, dude. Yeah. Wonderful. No? Roxy, you don't think he's charming? No, I think he's, I think he's charming, yeah. but I, uh, he's got a he's got a interesting side too. Jeff's What's the interesting side? I don't know. Morning. Hold on, Brett. We're trying. Oh, to he f- can't Brett, hear me. That's Brett, good. Brett, we're getting some we're getting some good information for you here from, oh, okay. from Roxy, and you can use in a second. Well, Roxy told me I had to keep talking when you guys were talking. Well, but ask, no, you know, ask Jack about his temper. Oh, I heard you have a, a bit of a temper. Is that true? Who me? You heard it yes, first. Yes, the one person he's talking to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the one person I'm talking to. That's what I'm referring to. You can't just use my joke. I consider myself a, a, an angry guy. No, I feel like I have quite a, a long fuse is the opposite of a short fuse, right? Cool, His cool. cheeks are getting red as he's telling me this. I don't know if he's just embarrassed <laughs> All right, now, to be. Now go over to that snake Snyder. All British people The are snake nice. Snyder? Yeah, go over to that snake over there. All right. And he's, ask him. He's, ask busting, he's busting leads. Yeah, tell him. Tell him. He's writing his, his dream journal right now, yeah. it looks like. Ask him. Ask him if we uh, if we figured out uh, what happened with yesterday's debacle on the scoops. Uh, did we find out what happened in the debacle on the scoops? Yesterday's scoops. Yeah, I found out what happened. I'm not happy about it at all. Can you divulge the information? I can't. I can't. I can't divulge more than that. I no. mean, I have relationships on Can the line here. No. But yeah, yesterday was no bueno. Very frustrating. Uh, yeah, he heard you. Oh, he did. Or or 
just do what you were going to follow up question. Oh, no, he's, he's Don't that talk good. to Christian, though. you got to yeah. just keep I, talking I wanna, to him. Yeah, let's, let's ask him. Roka's that. hovering it's over a, there Brock, trying to get on camera. He'll get on camera later. Christian doesn't, Christian doesn't stop talking in time for Brett to not stop talking. That's well, true. you're supposed to speak, like, as I'm saying this, ready? Uh -huh. Brett, speak as I speak, okay? Okay, so. Snyder, where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> You, you guys are boxed. Bastard. And, and would you consider yourself a mass hole? Would you consider yourself a mass hole? Oh, yeah. I gotta do my mic, right? No, yeah. I think I think I'm just an asshole. Okay, well, so tell ask, <laughs> ask Snyder though about that uh, the the question I the, about him submitting questions to the Schmodown and would he do it oh, again? Yeah, Christian uh, divulged some information that you used to submit questions to the Schmodown, hoping that you would get the questions that you submitted. Is this true? No comment. <laughs> no comment. He's already said it on air. <laughs> if it was true, did he ever get one of his own questions? No, he didn't. He uh, did you ever get, if it was true, did you ever get any of your questions? No, I have not. All right. All right. So I may not have lost my last so Let's now go into Dennis's yeah. office. Let's have this crazy rich uh, Asians dis discussion. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Send oh, yeah. the. Oh, boy. Yeah, send, send the whitest dude. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's what's let's happening with crazy Asians? I'll tell you in a second. Oh. They're crazy. Uh, it they're gets rich. bad when I get yeah, far right, away so like so this. So knock on Dennis's door. Knock on his door. Is this it? Yeah, that's his door. There's one next to mine. Yeah, knock. Brett, on his words door. of encouragement. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing good. You're doing amazing. Hello. Sweetie. Hey, what's up? Um, um, so ask Dennis. Ask Dennis. Thad's in here with. I, I'm really cutting out. All right, all right. Well, that's fine. Ask them how. Ask them if they're busy and if you can. Are you guys busy? Can we bother you? Can we bother you? They're they're always busy. They said. All right. Ask Dennis if he's mad at Collider Live. Um, Dennis, are you mad at us for the uh, crazy rich Asians, uh, all white? <laughs> <laughs> Conversation. It's not bad. So he just tweeted it out because he he thought it was fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. So ask. All right. Ask Dennis. Ask I love. I would do. Dude, I do immediately gotta, we, after it, I saw this. This cutting out thing is getting. Is it soon. cutting back? All right. It's yeah. cutting yeah, out yeah, bad we'll at Dennis's later. office. All right. Just tell him we're, we're cutting out. We'll be back. All right, all right. Well, we we'll tried. All right, back. Brett, come back now. I do love, I do love this segment. I do. I do. It, it's yeah. really. He's good. getting better. He's getting good. More Brett's, confident. Brett's coming back. All right, Brett's coming back. And he's getting better at holding the mic for he's the good. other person. Professionalism. Brett. Well Real good. I liked it. I liked it. All right. So that was good. So what do the fans think? Do they like that? Yeah, they liked it. Okay, good. So the fans enjoyed it. Make sure you guys are Stop, hashtagging Brett. Collider go, Live Brett. here. Um, not so good at walking in the door. But no, not so good. Oh no, I was seeing if they needed the. Yeah, yeah. Headset. Okay, Brett will need a juice box and some string cheese after this. <laughs> is uh, one of the top quotes here that I liked. I oh. do like string cheese. Yep. I want to interview my son, but I can't. I can't get too it's, far. It's, well, they're they're working on it. Well, oh, so he's actually here right no, now. He's really you're here. being yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. Should I bring him in? Not not yet. Maybe right. by the end of the show for sure. All right. Um. So because we have we only have around uh, fifteen minutes or not even ten. We have ten minutes before we're going to take a little bit of a break. So let's get into some of the movie news out there because there's some stuff going on that I think we should discuss and talk about, and I want to get everybody's thoughts and opinions on that. So, Riley, what's, uh, what's worth a damn? Uh, what's worth a damn is uh, Kelly Marie Tran finally mm. responding to the online harassment. She actually wrote a piece in the New York Times. What'd she say? Uh, a lot, but she basically said, here's my favorite. This sums it up perfectly. The very trans closing lines, you might know me as Kelly, I'm the first woman of color to have a leading role in Star Wars movie. I'm the first Asian woman to appear on the cover of Vanity Fair. My real name is Lone, and I'm just getting started, which I love. I love that. It's, 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 you know what she did there? She stood her ground. She took her time, and she came out swinging. And she did it in a classy way. She did it in a way that said, look, the, you're not going to change this progression. You're not going to do no. it. And good on her. And that's what she should do. That's what a strong person does. That's someone who took a hit and then got right back up and said, fuck you guys. I'm, yeah. I'm doing my thing. And I think it's the same thing. This is a debate that, you know, in general, I think that, and it's not just limited to movies. It's, it's, it's in general with social media bullying. It happens, right? But no. another, another, um, another example is Ruby Rose, and so this is inside of uh, this is inside of bullying inside of this space. But like I I've said it many times, I think Ruby Rose is an atrocious actress. I think she's I, th I think she's terrible. Really? Oh, I think she's terrible. And Aww. I think that I think she's she? she's the Orange is the New Black, the Meg she Triple was, X. She was good in she Orange is the New Black, um, though. In uh, but who is she in Orange is the New Black? She was the girl who came in during the panties stuff, and she's like Short the sexiest hair. woman alive. Short hair, and she's so. But she Let's was. Be honest. She was also, and she was in um, Triple X, the, the last one. She was in John Wick Two. We're not allowed to do that, Makuga. I'm just let me. I need to <laughs> know who this can, person is. Bring it up on the screen. Somebody bring it up. She, Riley, bring it up on the screen. Remember, she was an overnight sensation because everybody bring right it. after Orange is the New Black, people couldn't stop talking about her. They're bringing up. 
Ruby Rose. So the, as they bring up, so let me finish my point. Go ahead, sorry. So Ruby Rose, uh, I don't think she is a good actress. Okay, I think that her and Ronda Rousey could compete as far as acting. However, however, she got the job. It, it, she got the job. Like when she went in and auditioned, she booked it. Like so, it's by not, by a gay man, by the way. Let's, well, when, whoever it was, David Rappaport. Whoever it was, like she went in there. She auditioned to play Batwoman, right? And, yes, and she got the gig. So, who the fuck are you to say this isn't this isn't right? You don't you don't understand that she got the gig as an actress. She can her job is to go into that room, convince the person that she's auditioning for that she is the right person for the job. I'm not the casting director. This guy, David Rappaport. David Rappaport was, and he liked her, and he booked her. Good on her. She's doing what she's supposed to be doing, and she's working. It doesn't matter what a douche like me thinks about her acting. She's got to be able to go and figure out who does like what I'm doing and book the gigs, and that's what she does. She should not be harassed for getting a job. It, the the toxicity of fandom in General, certain arenas yeah. is extreme, right? So... When I get the job for Jeopardy, I'm sure that social media is going to be like, Ugh. who is this guy? Uh -huh. Okay? Garbage so, people watch Jeopardy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay? It's way easier to be nice than it is to freak out about something. Okay? Just it, It's not going to ruin your day. It's not going to ruin your show. It's not going to ruin your movie. I don't... When I watched Last Jedi, I was like, you know who I like? I like her. Yeah. I thought she was great. I, Ruby Rose, I have no idea who she is. But to ca you have no idea if you are outside of Hollywood, if you are outside of what we have to do every day in order to get jobs, how hard it is to actually book something of that nature, of that size, of whatever, how really, really difficult it is. When they talk about the 1%, we are the 001% of people that work in this profession. Same as actors that work, same as hosts that work, same as we hustle our balls off to even get to this point. Some so of us don't, don't even have balls. Correct. Right. Well, sorry, our everything, our butts <laughs> off. Sorry if you don't have a butt. What I'm saying <laughs> is that we that, that you work very, very hard to put yourself in this position so that one day you do get cast in something. And for people to freak out just because they don't like the look of your face or whatever they imagined was their they, bat girl or their bat woman. They didn't think she was lesbian enough was their problem, although what? she is a lesbian, so... Right. That happens right. to me but all not, the but time. Not enough. All the there's people that say you're not black enough, you're not white enough, you're not Asian enough, you're not this enough. The, it's ridiculous. But she's an actress again. That's another. You're even going after her. Like, you're not even gay. So, but, no, but, this like, is, but this is a this is another issue that I think that comes to a bigger conversation because I want to get Roxy's thoughts on this too. But this is a this is a bigger conversation for another time. But it also lends to this thing to where there are roles that actors can play, and actresses can play. Even if she wasn't a lesbian, she should still be able to play it. Right. I still, I mean, I know it's a controversial opinion. I think Scarlett Johansson should have been able to play that role. I do. I think she should be able to, if, if she was right for it, if it worked, if she was the right You're person. you talking about the transgender the, role? Yeah, if she was right for the role, and she and she should have done it. I think that if people are, are and I, I believe in, a, I believe in um, Fair giving, play? people getting a lot of different opportunities. I believe that we should be giving more people of color and more women chances at roles. I believe in that very much, so I think the door should be open for everybody, but I also believe in the right person getting the, the the job. So if Daniel Day Lewis goes in and my it's the best back girl audition I've seen, give it to Daniel Day Lewis, but he's the best and he turns out to be the best, give it to Daniel Day Lewis. I'm just I want to see the best person for the job, but I also think that the door should be open for more people. So if there was also a transgender that was better than Scarlett Johansson, then that person should have gotten the role. That's just the way I just I think that we just too focused in on no because that no, because that. How do you know unless you see the person in the Correct. role? You can Correct. now afterwards, if the movie would have come out, right? Because it's not their money. Sure. It's not their money. They can choose to see the movie, right? So if the movie would have come out with Scarlett Johansson, and at the end of the movie, she's terrible, mm -hmm. and it's not believable, you, then the argument is you should have cast this, and mm -hmm. it's a better leg to stand on because it's like, you're right. right. They, they should have. And again... And now you're pointing a finger at people who just wasted money, in, sure. in your opinion. So, Roxy, what's, what's your take? I have a, a bunch of different things to Let's say. Go. Um, the first one being that what people are actually angry about in the Ruby Rose situation or in the Kelly Marie Trans situation, whatever it is, is that there's not enough representation on screen and, and their anger is coming out in the wrong way. Yeah. Because you cannot possibly be mad at Ruby Rose for not being, quote unquote, Jewish enough or lesbian enough. What the f does that actually mean? Like, yeah. what does that mean? Um, the second thing being protect your own community. The people who attacked Ruby Rose are members of her own 
community. Yeah. That's you can curse that's, in this show. We I know, and I and I have been the but same community. Like, shouldn't we what, all be? What, the, the human race should be part of the human Correct. race, a hundred percent. As John but, Stewart said it best, the only time that's going to unify is if the aliens come. The Green Lantern. And I completely yeah. agree, but the the biggest problem is like female on female hate. Or LGBTQ on LGBTQ hate. And that is what's happening to her. A community she's given back to, a community she's a part of, a community she identi- identifies with, attacked her. Yeah, and that's got to be and, devastating. And that's got to yeah. be the most crushing of all. Because when you hear hate from people that just don't understand you, you you can chalk that off. But for her, I was so impressed by the fact that she was like, you know what, I'm getting off of this. You guys can reach me on my bat phone because I am a lesbian. I've been out since I was 12. Suck it. Like, right. Because that, the, that's the all that yeah. it and is. That's, and that's why, like I said, regardless of what I think of her work in general, General, as far as an actress goes, I respect her very much as a person. And I respect the way that she's handled this thing. I respect her as a working actress trying to get jobs. I respect that very much. Bringing me to my next point, which is that she, and like you talked about, Josh, everybody works their butts off for these jobs. Some people are good people here. Some people are bad people here. She's a doll. She's a really cool chick. And I... Have I you know, met her? Yeah. Oh, she, cool. I think she's awesome. Like, awesome. I think she's got the best vibe, the best energy. She's just one of those people who you want to see book work because she's a good – I mean, right. I don't know her that well, but she's yeah. seemingly a good person. Well, that's so the thing. why not hire people that deserve the role because that they're – I think she's very talented, but also that she's a good chick. And like, you're, not, you're not wrong there, B2, because like, look at, like, so Adam Sandler's a guy, right? Like, we'll call it what it is. Adam Sandler's last, like, I don't know, 10 years of his career, questionable, right? I mean, he pumps out movies right. because he's under contract, and some of them aren't as good as Happy Gilmore and Billy uh, Madison. And, and that's, what, 20, 30 years ago. Um, I root for Adam Sandler every time, because I have met Adam Sandler a couple different mm. times. I love the way that I've always modeled kind of the way that I've Adam Sandler always said keep your friends close like always helped out his friends built his business off of his friends mm-hmm. um, and I've tried to do the same thing you know and there's things that I thank he's, you he's a, well he's a good guy and he and he, and it's like because you want to be able to work with the people that you love you love you know that you also understand can 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 do um, and so you root for people like that you root for good people and so we're rooting for Ruby Rose we're rooting for Kelly Marie Tran yes and so you know it's, it's good that Kelly Marie Tran came out had that conversation but before we go to our break Riley got anything else going on uh, yeah Brendan Fraser uh, oh, yeah. we, it's funny that we had this conversation that he's been not around yeah, yeah, that yeah. was so wild when I saw and this I was like Christian knew Doom yeah. Patrol he got cast as uh, Robot Man yeah uh, big part the Doom Patrol, Roxy, you can speak more on this. It's yeah. for the streaming service. So he, what is it? Tell he's going to be the voice of Robot Man because Robot Man um, if is you a see, robot. Yeah, it's a, it's a cyborg in DC. He cool. is a robot man. Um, and it's actually, <laughs> he's part of the Doom Patrol where somebody Quiet put over there. somebody put Brandon Fraser's character's brain into a robot. Okay. It's basically it's like happened. Robocop so, 2. Kind of. So he's going to be both of those, like the guy in the flashback before his brain was taken out mm. and... Robot Man's voice. Okay, so gotcha. he, you'll you will see him during flashback sequences. Good. Well, we but it's a huge role. Well, we so root for, Brian, for Brendan Fraser. Yeah, I'm I'm just saying, as part of this show that we are able to get Brendan Fraser hired on more product, more projects was fantastic. Yeah, I don't think we had anything to do with it, but I, I like yeah. to believe. Pretty that positive, we did. We did. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's um, send the yeah. positive vibes. People. I'm kind of pissed because he's not robot enough. I, nice. I agree. I knew it was coming. I agree. I Not enough metal coming. in that body. Uh, all right. Um, hashtag Collider Live, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to um, take questions. Last half an hour of this show from you guys. Get involved in the conversation. Very important. Whether you're over on the Schmoville Facebook group, go on over to Twitter for a little bit. Get your voices heard because you guys are loud. You are strong. You guys are the kind of the, the structure of this show. You really are. You're the core of it. And I and I appreciate you all for, for everybody who wanted the show to come back. Um, in you know, in, in some in some form, it is it is not necessarily the Schmo show, but it is it is a similar vibe. So we're telling now we're three days a week as opposed to one, and you guys are making that happen. So make sure you do everything, whether it's the liking, the comments, sharing. Check out everything we got going on. By the way, in the uh, in the podcast world, we have the Jedi Council feed, we have the Heroes feed, Movie Talk. Um, Next Friday starts the TV talk. TV talk is coming back. The Witching Woo! Hour, the Collider Factor. There's so much you guys can just look and browse all this content that we now have. And of course, the all the YouTube channels too. But when we get back, we're talking about relationships. Yeah, there's some relationship shit going down <laughs> in this baby. office, and it's all over the place. The two married guys will have a conversation. Three married guys will have a conversation about what's going on, and then there's some other shit about. You the forgot Brett was married, right? That's what just happened. No. <laughs> yes. When we get back, Collider Live. Hello, 
there. No, it's not late to the party. That's actually from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You didn't know that? Well, you should, and now you do. Jedi Council, what is it? It's about Star Wars, obviously. It's Jedi Council. Every week, the latest and greatest in Star Wars movie news, myself and Ken Knapsack, that's right, the pit boss himself, we have a guest on and we talk about everything happening in the world of Star Wars. If it's the movie news, the TV news, canon news, comic books, games, and then we take questions from you guys on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm still excited talking about it. The fan base is coming together again. I believe it is. I think it is. I hope it is. And we're talking Star Wars, so we like you. That's right. All of you, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, come on over and join us every Thursday for Collider Jedi Council here on Collider Video. And we have an Apple Podcast feed or Podcast One, wherever you want to go if you listen to podcasts. And not only do you get Collider Jedi Council every week on Thursday, The Rule of Two with Mark Fernandez and Mark Riley, that's on every week. I believe it drops on Wednesday. It's on one of these days. It's a good show. You should listen to it. I like it. I listen to it. I haven't listened to it once. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Movie Mance, and just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice, and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about, but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun, it is infectious, it is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows, and it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Dates himself. Check it out every Friday at 10 a.m. AM Pacific only on Collider Video. Hey, Collider fans, John Roca here. Look that behind me. There it is, Collider Sports. That's right, that is happening right now. Uh, we started it a few couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. We've had some great programming on there already. For those of you that have already watched, thanks so much. we got so much coming down the pike. We're talking about NFL. We're going to talk about NBA. There's plans about NHL. Golf is in the equation now. And, of course, the Premier League show that I host with Jack Hind, that's been in motion for the last couple of weeks. And then an MMA show is on the way from Dennis Zhang, me, and Jay Williams as well. For you might know him from uh, the After Schmo show. What is it, what is that thing called? Afterthoughts. Afterthoughts. That's it. The Afterthoughts show. All those things are happening here at Collider. And look, we want to hear from you. So we want you to listen. We want you to watch. If you're a sports fan, even if you're not a sports fan, we might entertain you, teach you something new about a sport that you may not have known much about, or maybe so deep into it that you wanted to learn even more about it. We've got you covered. You can do that. Follow us on iTunes and on YouTube. You can there watch all the shows uh, or listen to all the shows that you want and then leave us comments and rate uh, the shows as well and review them. And then let us know what other sports you want us to cover. Look, we're not touching rugby. I'll just tell you that right now that's as far out as we'll go uh, or cricket but uh, maybe in the future if we go collider worldwide that's certainly a possibility but for right now collider sports is there for you take a look at it take a watch and let us know what you think oh man collider really pooped the bet on this one giving me my own show join me friday evenings for depth talk where we're covering all things johnny depp the best way to spend 30k a month on wine we're covering it the best types of rum we're covering it we're gonna look at private islands in the caribbean we're gonna look at uh we're gonna we're gonna do all kinds of things. I've got like, whoo man, uh, Dep Talk. It's not really a show, uh, but you should subscribe to Collider anyway for lots of content that's not gonna be like this. Yeah. <laughs> And we're back, Collider Live. After the break here, we have a full studio here, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, myself, yeah, Roxy Stryer, Josh Makuga. I'm trying to look. I want to let everybody know here that's in the studio, too, that we're going to have a nice little chat here, but I want to make sure that we give each other enough time to talk and don't talk over one another because we're going to have a really cool, fun conversation. Uh, I don't want anyone yelling at each other. Well, you can yell at each other. Just make sure you have each other, uh, you know, give each other the due time to talk. Now, we have... Um, a conversation that we're going to have that is very interesting to me because there's some cool things happening in the audience and I think that there's some opinions in the audience and curiosities from the uh, the, the office and um, so here's the thing the other day when I I, I was gone for I was gone everyone's for looking down no one oh, will yeah, make yeah, by eye the way, contact phone, with phone's you gone, phone's out right. in the collider nobody will phone, look at you they're also scared yeah, phone, phone's out Roka put the phone away sure uh, turn it around here 
Nope. Leave it alone. Touch my stuff. No phone. They look like they've been brought into the principal's office. I know. Well, that's the thing. So here's what happened. When I was so, I want to get so first. I want to talk to Roxy and, and Josh about this before we introduce our special guest. So cool. I was I was in um, when I was gone in Florida. I got when I went to Florida about a month ago. I had seen this post that come up from Roca, right? And the afterthoughts guy said it best, where it looked like he was doing a press conference, and he is funny a, guy. Those guys listen. <laughs> Is announcing. Have either of them kissed a girl before? Stop for a second. Right, Remember, <laughs> let me finish. You expect me to share the mic with this guy? I'll, let, I'll make out with both of them. All right, let me. Just let, to prove you wrong. All right, let me finish. Let, let me, me finish. Talk to someone about that. So, hey, so and so what happened was he he was very excited to no and you know what? that's not even true. I'm going to go back a little yeah. bit more in time because I had heard that John Roca had a lady friend, and then I went to see a screening. Uh, I forget what, which one it was. Just for Robin. That's exactly what it was. And he saw them with his lady. I left him alone because I didn't want to bother him. He seemed and he, and I'll be honest. I saw him and he looked smitten. He looked smitten. He looked very involved. He looked and he and he was he was he was opening doors for his lady. He, he was it was it was something. It was I was impressed with the way that he was treating this woman. And I said okay. So he's and then I hear um, then I see the the announcement and everything too. And then then word starts spreading like wildfire that Roka's got this lady friend. And then I hear things. And then I start hearing things like. How long have you been together? John Roke is here. John, how how are you doing? Hey, how's it going, everybody? Oh, yeah, nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you. John, this John, John, is Josh Buddy. John, <laughs> don't, don't 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 get nervous and touch things. I'm not nervous all at right, all. So talking to the mic. <laughs> yes. All right. So let me ask you a question. Sure. How long have you been with your lady? Um, we just I think we just crossed the two month mark this week. Okay. Take time. Take so time. I need I need um I need confirm or deny. Yeah. There's been conversation after a month of dating. Two months. No. After a month of dating, you guys began talking about potentially moving in together. Is that's actually in motion. All right, so that's accurate. That will probably be within a month. All right. So, and this is because, and well and done. again, well, so well I said to John because I and I and we've had this conversation. I've been I I'm always skeptical of when you are. I'm well, in general, yeah, but I'm always skeptical <laughs> in relationships when people start so fast. Mm -hmm. right. And but John made a good point to me. It's like when you get a little older, you don't have as much time or a lot older. Well, you don't have as much time. So, so, but, and I know, and because, because the reason I have Snyder in here, because Snyder also has got a, he's got a bit of a take. Speaking and, of older, yeah. And, but he also has, but, but Jeff also has a kind of scenario on his own. Now, Jeff, if I can't, can I bring up what, what we, what we talked about? I don't know. You're going to get me in trouble. Well, oh, wow. So he doesn't. Oh, if, if you don't think I'm used to Jeff's uh, opinions on shit, I, yeah. you're insane. No, this is, this is about my own relationship. Well, but, oh. it, but, it's, yeah. but, it's rel but it's relevant to this conversation. Oh, yeah, take that. Take that. Can I bring it up? <laughs> yes. Good. Whatever. Whatever. Sure. All right. I can bring it up. Can I? Can yeah. I? Go, go ahead. All right, all right. All right. So Jeff then, Jeff, was, Jeff also posted on social media that he was looking for a roommate. <laughs> um, and then. Surprise. You, well, he was looking for a roommate and he. And then is so you then were approached by your lady friend to then move in, and you guys. How dating, long have they been together? That's they've been dating for over a year. A, a year. year, and so right, one year. All right, for one year. All right. So Jeff, what is your so what are your thoughts first on the month period, a two month period moving in together? I uh, first of all, you're I'm, also ten I, years younger I, than Roka. I am uh, definitely least. definitely more than ten years. By okay. The way. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't look it, but he is. Right. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I I had the pleasure of meeting this, this uh, lovely lady, okay. and, As did uh, and and yeah, she was she was wonderful. So mm -hmm. I, I I see why John is so smitten. I I, I would caution anyone, uh, even people uh, at, at middle age, so to speak, <laughs> right. about uh, about moving in after one or two months. Right. Yes, I think it's a little soon, but you know what? John knows what's best for John. Who mm -hmm. am I to argue? Right. So when it comes to your scenario, you're not ready yet, right? Uh, I'm not ready. I just yes, yeah. You're not ready, and that's fair though. But that's I mean, again, it doesn't matter as far as a, a how fast that things things move on one side or another. I see you with your lady, and you, and you guys are as smitten as I saw John and his mm -hmm. lady. Yeah, we're so very smitten. It's very cute very, to watch you very, even very, after one year. Very. Yeah. That's what I mean. After it one happens. year, it does. And Maku so Makuga's not the only one uh, dating out of his league or married out of his league. Well, me too. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> me three. Yeah. yeah. And then so, but uh, I bring Josh in here too because Josh and I were always on the same page. We mm -hmm. talked about this that we're never getting married not going to happen mm -hmm. you guys are not on i don't know if you're on that page were you on that page that you don't want to get married no I'm, I'm i'm not saying that right, uh, right. I, i'm open to it i just don't need to rush into it or, or at least do the do the moving thing just because circumstances like say so it, right, right? I, and that makes sense but john so do you but do you get because you and i have actually had conversations yeah. about like other people that we know that we're kind of rushing sure. we think we think might be rushing in 
Do you find? Do you understand? Do you understand where people could be skeptical? Not skeptical, but could be concerned that you might be going a little fast. Oh, sure, I understand that, and yeah. I've, I've heard it. my own friends have been saying it. And but, but you know, I know what's best for me. I know what feels right. The heart and, knows what it wants. Yeah, well, and it's more than that. It's like you know, I, I've been <laughs> through a bunch of terrible relationships for right. like twenty to thirty years because right. I wasn't sure for real what I wanted. And when I met the woman I'm seeing now. We just had a report. Like we just, it just works. Can, right? can we I've not say her it? name, John? No, is she no. like Voldemort? No, no, no. <laughs> he, 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 he asked. He asked. Was, yeah. He said. Oh, this is a special very request. He, yeah. He said. He said that yeah. he he's willing to. I've I talked to talk everybody. About it. He said he's willing to yeah, talk about it. She said it's okay as, as long as I don't. Say but her he name. asked not to say her name, so yeah. we're going to respect that. We're not. She's gonna say uh, her name. she's fantastic. The only reason I posted about I've never and I I don't think anybody in the room can say I posted about any woman with a picture. No, I told her that to her face too. Yeah, yeah. And she said that made her feel really special. Yeah, I'm glad. You were so embarrassed. You were beat red. I was. Yeah. It sounds was. like the she outlaw. Was really pretty and really sweet. Sounds like the outlaw is ready for some in-laws. Yeah. Oh, the, the, yeah. Oh. Well, the conversation. Uh, well, that's what I. That's where yeah. I was going with this. And now, here's the thing: Sheridan is better too. I've shared a matter with Segundo. Oh, look at that. Well, yeah, yeah. actually, you know what? Because Brett's had enough mic time today. I want to talk to uh, <laughs> let, let give the mic to Mark Riley for a second because this is where this comes into play. Yeah, boy. The, here we go. Because the fans here are going to be like, well, what's where? Where's this going? Can I? Can I? Of course, say a couple things. He's, he's been itching. No, no, yeah, no I, I'm not itching. <laughs> I, uh, I, okay. I was always on your page, never mm-hmm. getting married, whatever, and I was in a string of whatever. Uh, and a string of you're a hedon, a jo- Johnny. No, no, just like I had had. <laughs> well, what happened was the, before I met my now wife, right. I I was in a relationship uh, like a year and a half to two years before that that destroyed me. Is that the, that wasn't the key in the car, girl, was it? Uh, yes. Oh wow! And the oh. punch to the forehead. Oh with wow! The right. We'll talk about that some other time. Yeah. Uh, why I still have this little scar up here? Wow. Anyway, yeah. yeah. So not. So I can't believe I haven't anyway. Heard this. Right. So um, let me. Get, yeah. I'll show you later. It wasn't a night terror. This way he hates wrestling. He did a professional female professional wrestler. Um, and so I was just, I was done and I wasn't a very nice guy. And I, I apologize to any girl that I had met in that time. And, and I was with at that time because I just wasn't a very, uh, genuinely good person as I would, I, I was, I would hope to be regardless. Right. When I met Amanda, I was like, this is working. This is right. I get this. Uh, we married, we moved in like 10 months after we met and it's, it's amazing. I, I love being married. I love my wife, all that kind of stuff. And I will say this. My dad and mom got engaged three and a half months after they met. Different times, so too. Different though. times, one hundred percent. You know, not in L.A. Why is that definitely different? But they why stayed. Does it, why does the old relationships back then, like your mom and dad, yeah. people go different time? But when Roka does it, I'm playing devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When Roka does it, because look at Josh's parents. Yeah, they're amazing. People. Standards, Standards have changed. And years. how can that, like the 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 idea with our online and social media right. and all this kind of stuff is that you have to give it a lot of time. Well, let me answer the first part because Josh's parents are in a minority because they're yeah. still together. Right. Um, because right. a lot right. of because I'm not saying that the time when they were doing that was right. I'm just saying that a lot of it was just it was different back then. People got married. I'm not saying your parents did this, but like a lot of times people got married because they were supposed to do it. It was the norm. It it happened. They, people got people got married also really young. For sure, really young. Yeah. Well, right. people got married because they wanted to have sex. A. Eh? I mean, <laughs> right. no joke. Right. That, I mean, right. that was a time. Right. And Roca comes from a different time. Too. <laughs> true. So, but no, Some would I say I, prehistoric. I'm yeah. gonna back Roca up on this. Yeah, one. Right. Right. I think this one think is hesitant on getting married, and that's why he's not because you think you, he's got a Fear. You gotta move in. I moved in with every serious girlfriend I had. You gotta live with Whoa, someone to know right. that you oh, can marry sure. them. Yeah. You gotta live well, with well, them. Well, that's what we, we haven't year, got to the that's, ma- that's, that's we haven't got to the marry message. part yet. That's and, the thing. We I, haven't got the marry part. I want to piggyback on Josh's thing. My yeah. parents got married on their fourth date, and they wow. stayed together until my father passed that's from cancer. Right. Oh, and so wow. th- that was the and my mom met my dad on her first date with my uncle. That says and slid her number to my dad. On the date, because back in my tradition, that's Bolivian is, tradition, oh, right. they met. They you had to meet the whole family on the first date, so they could approve. So, uh, either way, man wow. or woman. But this says a lot, and so though, because yeah, you're, cool. so you're watching. So this is experience. You've seen it happen yes. before, so yeah. you can look and say, "I know that this can mm-hmm. happen because yeah. I come from a family that it did happen." Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Uh, I'm still skeptical of it. I mean, just because that's, and, and I, it's not going to change. the show called Skeptic Thoughts with Christian. I, I do, but it's not going to change. It, like, <laughs> I hope, and it's not a prove. It's not a prove me wrong. That's not fair. Yeah. Um, I hope that you continue with this woman. I hope that you have so a marriage with this woman. I hope you have so children with this woman, and I can go. I was fucking wrong. I don't. Or whatever, whatever, I don't what, have whatever, whatever it is. But I'm, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know where I'm going with it. Yeah. Um, I hope that I hope that you're as happy and you want to do what you want to do. Thank because, because again, the first thing that I say is at. You hear it, no matter you, anyone. Mm-hmm. I hear a month they're moving in to get married. It's like the bachelor. Yeah, it's not gonna work. 
Um, that, that, that's just that's the train that. of thought that I come from. Mm-hmm. But when we don't hear, like being away from each other, and that's that's the thing. Right. That's what's motivating the movie. But can we you understand though? Of course, because like the oh, thing is, sure. you're in that honeymoon p- phase here too. Sure. After like say two years, you're going to see because then you're going to really know each other after living mm-hmm. with each other mm-hmm. to where it's because Mark Riley. Mm. Hi everyone. This is where Mark Riley comes into this conversation. Yeah. So Mark Riley, you've been so with good. your Mark Riley has been uh, married before. Oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Now, I, bring, I think yeah, I even yeah, yeah, yeah. I bring uh, that. Up, I bring that up because we're fine we, talking about. Yeah, it. that's why because we we've talked about your 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 last marriage a lot. Uh, Brett Brett Lonnie told me the great. Anyways, yeah, so we'll get there. Last somewhere. marriage didn't work out. Oh God, no! No, it didn't work <clears> yeah, out. Not what, a good marriage. Was, wasn't the, wasn't the right fit. Wasn't the right. Fit. <laughs> <laughs> I love the <laughs> wasn't, yeah, wasn't, wasn't the right fit. So wasn't the right. Fit. So you at that point after that happens because you were mm. married for how long? Uh, I think with uh, the late with the ex lady for how long? Uh, we were together. Uh, I think all in six years. Six years. Okay. So yeah. marriage breaks up, yeah. and you, in your head, understandably, probably like fuck marriage. Uh, I didn't. Again. I didn't think I would ever want to get married again. Of course, because I mean, there was there was a period of time that I don't. I don't think I could. I, I it hurt right. so bad. Right. Right. And it, under, again, understandably, divorce yeah. is not a. It's it no matter. If you're going through it, if you're a child of right. divorce, it's 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 horrendous. So I both. So I had the double whammy. Right. So you get hit with that. So then, but then you meet the love of your life. Yeah. And you are we saying are we allowed to say her name on the air? Uh, you want to yeah, keep it off? Yeah. Let's fine. Just we'll keep, keep it off. That's fine. So I mean, you meet the love of your life. Yeah. And. <laughs> Fine, it's hey, Julie. It's Julie. It's, it's, I, I get. You know what? Wait, I was like, wait she's, to crack she's under a pressure. little. She's you a said little, Julie I before. You've said she, it. Before. I have said it before. Yeah. She's a little on the, the private side. I as understand. Well, so. All right, but anyway, so you meet you meet Julie, and you guys and you guys are together. And mm-hmm. like, how long does it take before you guys move in together? Uh, it was a year and a half. A year and a half. And, but mm-hmm. again, understand. You've never been married, John. Uh, no. No. Okay. But so I had prior to moving in with her, you said you would never live with somebody again until you married them, right? Julie was telling me that story. Yes, Julie was actually saying that. Same she thing. was like, I'm oh. not I'm not moving in with you right. until I know it's going there. All right. So you guys really got got the yeah. groundwork down, make sure again, year and a half, learn each other. You, you, you yeah. communication. Communication. Yeah. Now now we were all yeah, always on the same page. But now that. today, now you guys are together four years? We're together four years. Engaged. We got engaged a day before our four-year anniversary. Okay, so now you're yeah. engaged. Well, thank you, everybody. Right. So, I didn't know you didn't know. Right. So oh, we started we started getting into a conversation. Now we, the setup is is real. Now everybody knows this. So you've got you've got John Roca and his lady, and then you've got uh, Julie and Riley. And we started talking because this is a conversation that happens in offices. You start you, oh, you yeah. hear about everything going around. It's water cooler talk, right? So then the conversation started to become. Who's going to get married first? Because Roka, you're talking, you're talking about marrying this this lady. We've talked about it. Yes. You've already, already talked about it oh, in yeah. a month or two months, <laughs> right? Like, seri- almost, like serious. When thoughts. was the topic first broached? When right. we almost Who brought it drove up? to Vegas on Sunday and did it. Whoa! Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. When? Su- what, Snyder? What? You're slapping past, your head. Well, give it this the past mic Sunday, so four days ago. Give mm-hmm. Snyder the mic. Yeah. Wow. What, what are you slapping your head about? I wasn't invited to the <laughs> wedding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair complaint. That yeah. is fair. What? Why um, didn't you guys go? Uh, because we we I think we're both gonna know when the time is right. Yeah, who brought it up though? Uh, so wait, Milwaukee's the, the, best. The life. time wasn't last weekend. <laughs> yeah, wait. Who, no, so, it wasn't the time. So last time. last weekend, you guys are sitting around. You are watching a movie? What, what are you doing? Yeah, we're catching. We're watching The Wire for the first time. Oh, she's Whoa. watching. Oh. She's, it's her fourth time through, and it's my show. first time through. You know, <laughs> finally somebody got you to watch The Wire. The Wire. She's, made the, she's, she's made. made she's special. Judge. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You know, you got. You know, you got the right lady. If you're yeah. watching The Wire, and then the conversation comes, up, hey, should we go to Vegas and get married? Yeah, like that's some romantic shit. Um, so wait, the problem is we talk about the characters when we're saying it. It's an issue. <laughs> wait, get married. Wait, who, how does that happen though? So you guys are watching The Wire, yeah. And what? And so who brings it up? Who says let's go to Vegas and get well, married? Well, I don't want to reveal the details. I think okay. it just came up in conversation as okay. we were like cuddling and kissing and talking and everything. Wow. Like that. It just kind of came locked up. eyes and yeah, said, wait, how, "What if?" And I said, "This is going to happen, isn't it?" And she goes, "Yeah." Wow. And, Has um, she been married before? No. Okay. And she That's never cool. thought she would get married and has, has made it very Look clear to her friends All right. for years that so, she didn't believe in marriage, didn't want to right, get so this, married. This thing is this this is like Sid and Nancy. We're going, we're going, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 Ain't nobody <laughs> stabbing nobody. We're, we're, Take we're, it easy over those skeptic <laughs> thoughts. No, no. We're, we're, sky, we're, uh, we're skyrocketing. It's Mickey and Mallory. Sorry. But, uh, but we're I, I want to say one last thing. Makuga, what, yeah. you, what he went through, yeah. I went through. That And, and you know this. Sure, like we've the all been fi- through. Terrible five year relationship that I was. 
Chase through Riley. Same thing. Sure, that shit about damages that. you. People think, oh, it's only, it's only like you know, it's only like a, a, a women who suffer this kind of stuff from assholes. But sometimes on the other side, men suffer too from yeah. terrible relationships right, right, right. for women who don't maybe don't love us one hundred percent. Don't Amen, treat like brother. like my girlfriend would let her boss set her up with dates with other men. Right. And she would never stop her going, I need to keep the job. I don't want to unsell the Apple cart. The truth was she didn't 100% love me, mm -hmm. but she still enjoyed living in my house and me taking care of her, all right. this kind of stuff. It was a frustrating situation. But you've been, you've been, you've been, you've been, huh? What was her name again? Oh. No, don't say her name. Yeah, I don't want to say her name. You were, you were. <laughs> not the same I say person. Her, right? Yeah, I we was. Dated she, okay. You yeah. were, you were, you got, you got, you got bit. Yeah, you and got, I went deep into therapy yeah. to climb out of right. the reasons why. And so meeting, uh, meeting the girl that okay, I met. I went to therapy from, too. Uh, yeah. It was, the doctor's name was Jack Daniels. He was. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, but that's fair. So then, so yeah. you really, so you, this is, that doesn't really seem like a rush thing. This seemed to, in your head, you know, you could pursue, uh, yeah. people could see it as that. Yeah, sure. In your head, you've gone through enough to where it's just, it just like, it seems right. That girl that you were with for five years, did you ever think about going to Vegas and marrying her? No, no. Did but you... we did talk about marriage okay. and we had talked about kids. Well, I would hope in five years. Five years, right. But right. she was coming out of a marriage and we uh, got together as her marriage was ending. Ooh. And so, and then we moved in together, right. which was a huge well, mistake. Because because she man. wasn't ready. How quickly did you move in together? Uh, literally, she signed the divorce papers the next day she drove down from Vegas with all her stuff. Ironically, lived in Vegas, drove right. down with all her stuff and moved in with me. And, and you wanted to mistake. live with her that quickly? I wanted to marry her, yes. Wow, so look, so Roka then... She was the first person... You have a hard Forever. time trusting yourself then when at that point in time you wanted to live with this person and marry them mm -hmm. and now you want that with this person. Well, yeah, but it's different because with her it was a desperate des desperation to hang on to someone who felt unattainable to me. And I thought if I just lock her down right. it'll be... But with us it's completely different. It's very organic and natural okay. and it doesn't feel rushed was at it, all. Was it like, but it wasn't like that with the, with the five-year relationship. How was it in the first month and a half? The first month and a half was great mm -hmm. and then she turned completely because she was depressed about the end of the marriage. She felt guilty that we had had relations before the end of the marriage. She felt guilty that the, this guy took her dogs from her because okay. you couldn't separate So there was them. a lot of baggage. There was a lot of baggage. All right, so, so look, right now... Don't take the dogs. Yeah. No, don't take the dogs. So right, right. now you guys are so really... this. You, if you're having conversations potentially to drive off to Vegas, then it looks like it could yeah, happen, Yeah, but it's right? fun to talk about. Yeah. But yes, and the reason I bring this up now too, so then we started getting conversations about the office. Mm -hmm. You got Mark Riley, who's... When are you, when are you guys going to get uh, married? When are you supposed to get married? No, suppose we don't. We don't have a date. You don't have a date yet. No. Okay. So same thing here. They're engaged. Yeah. And it really there's just except this time there's a ring, um, as where we don't have a ring yet, but it's certainly in the works. So the question started to be, who's going to get married first? Ah. Is it going to be Mark <laughs> Riley or John Roca? <laughs> They've met in the Schmodown ring many times. I good. was wondering where this was going. Like, I thought we were going full therapy. I no, no, no. <laughs> we're going. Roka, I appreciate it. Snyder, I think you're a great guy. Riley, I think you're fantastic. No. I think all of you together could, are really going to make great husbands and, and lovers and, yeah. and future fathers. Just, I don't know where this is going. Where it's going. Where, was, where it's going is a race to the altar. Oh. And we, we had a conversation, myself and Riley and, uh, and Roka. I've never and seen and Snyder sweat so don't much. Don't worry, Snyder. You're not a part of this. You're all right. You're good. You, you, trust me, I would not bet on you. Um, Although it does sound like you're in a very healthy, happy relationship. Yeah, yeah, it does. So congratulations, it does. my friend. I, I'm telling you, I saw She's him. Great. I, I saw she him is. and his lady the other night at a screening, and like he, he, the guy couldn't. He was he was hugging his lady, and and it was it was amazing. There, you can tell that you can tell the guy's in love. Plot PDA. twist. Plot twist. Yeah. They're in love. Yeah, he's de he definitely is. You can tell. But he's not part of this because there's no fucking way he's getting married anytime soon. <laughs> so, uh, but what I will say is that between these two, we start talking about. It, I was like, look, we can talk about this on the show if you guys are down. And they wanted to clear it with their ladies first because yeah. we were going to do it on Monday, but they yeah. said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah. Super respectful. Yeah, so they wanted to talk to their to their yep. ladies. So and I said, that's fair. Way to go. I would have just done it and I would have gotten mad. You would have gotten in trouble. <laughs> Me yeah. too. That's every basically time. what yeah. I just did. Yeah. yeah. So I haven't, haven't cleared it a bit. Oh, you didn't get cleared? I no, thought you said I you cleared it. Oh, I thought you yeah. cleared it. No, I oh. didn't clear it. Well, no. It's it never, way easier to ask for forgiveness than you told me You told me it was okay. I said it was okay. A lot of people know. Julie in the room here. Right. She's gonna be fine. She's, okay, fine. She, she's Julie. Gonna laugh. All right, look. She's so here, the love of my life, and I'm upset with you. I don't. I, I love Roxy's yeah. relationship this, with Julie. This is an ongoing. This is gonna be an ongoing thing because a race to the altar. We're gonna start, and we'll, what we'll do, we're gonna get the audience involved too. We're gonna have you in YouTube, and we're gonna have you in uh, hashtag uh, Collider Live. Who do you think, from hearing all the stories right now? Who do you think is going to get married first? Will it be Riley or will it be Roca? Are we voting on this? We can, I have a vote. We can vote in a second. But also what I also want to do, I don't know how to do it yet. Makuga, you're the man when it comes to this type of stuff too. I want to put a contest together. I want to find a way to raise enough money, right, to where we can pay for one wedding. <laughs> one wedding. It's a lot of money. I know. I want to find a way to where we can do that, raise it, and whoever actually does it gets 
the balls to do it and oh. says, I'm going to get married. It's like, I can say, I can get you, I have the money, I can get you guys married tomorrow or whatever it is, the next month. Okay. Here's the money, you can do it. That person will win. However, and God forbid, one of the couples breaks up, the other person gets the money. Oh. Okay. A few things. Yeah. Wait, I want in on this. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> Chief I, I think Josh so. can help. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it, a couple things. Okay. And you, maybe go with me. Okay. Yeah, what do we got? First, I feel like as a fandom, we've asked for money for... I'm not, asking, I'm not asking for money. I'm, what I'm telling you, we, if we find a way to raise the money. We find a way to do it. To, we're not from, not from, just in general, we can do contests. We can do what, whatever we do to put on a show somewhere. Okay. We can put on it. We can do a live show somewhere. Whatever no, what, it is. What I'm saying is that we, we as people, fan, uh, GoFundMe, mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, raise your hand if you have a Patreon. Yeah, oh, okay. Patreon. Okay. <laughs> is that. We are this. That's those are noble causes, right? right? Like what we did for your brother and John right. Schnapp and right, all right. that kind shout of stuff, out, right? Out. Okay. I think this is is funny, but to ask our fans to donate to pay for somebody's wedding or to like give money to pay for someone somebody's upset, wedding. Someone, okay, so okay, so go ahead. What I'm talking about here is trying. Let's say we do a show. Okay. Let's say we do a live collider live show. Okay. And if you come out to see the show yeah. and pay for our show, that money. That from that particular we'll go show, towards a wedding. We'll go towards a wedding. Okay, I'm not saying, hey, like... hey, Ralph, give a thousand dollars so they can get married. Right. I'm talking about us doing something Ooh. as a show. Okay. That's where I'm saying, Josh, now you're we're help. talking. That's got Ralph got had a thousand dollars to give but, to no, my wedding. Because there's fund. no, there's no. Because again, what's hey, it's like, hey, hey, you give him money to get married. He's gonna go fuck you. What am I right. giving? But but if I say, hey, you unless can, he wants to, unless he wants to. But if I can say, hey, we're gonna put on a show and all the money from that show. Will go to the fun, and then the winner will get it. But we can do. We gotta have to do like three or four shows. Well, f I think we sh we do one show, and then that money goes towards a wedding. I think we could do yeah. a couple. I think that if we're gonna put them through the ringer, then it's on us to to actually be part uh, of it. Can it's I part of the ask yeah. what does put through the ringer right, mean? Right, correct. Uh, well, but I mean, put the ringer. You're already on through the ringer. Updates and stuff. Well, you're already in the yeah, ringer. You, been, you just you just okay. honestly gave. A yeah. very intimate part of your life, right then and there. That's that's going Hopefully through. Hopefully, not too intimate, or this will be no, over. But, uh, but, you know, but you're being honest, yeah, and you're yeah. letting thousands of people into your life right now and talking about it. And it I think that's fair. The truth yeah. is that this is your career, this is your dream, this is what you're doing, and yeah. you, if you're with somebody, they have to know that that yeah. it's fair game. Right. You don't have to talk about like what your sex life is like and what your uh, issues won't. are yeah. and whatnot. Right. But I'll talk about that. But <laughs> any, anybody who's with any uh, person can, in this room has to be aware that if we're we're not doing this. We're not making good right. content because right. it's it's part of your life. Yeah, and that's, that's why, why I walk through the door. It's what we're signing up for. Yeah, yes. absolutely. I'm preaching to the choir. That's obviously. what I told people with this show. Collider Live is not. I mean, yes, we can have a, have a conversation like we just did about Ruby Rose and Kelly Marie Tran, and we can talk about the latest movie news and everything too. But this show is different than other shows. This show is going to explore the personalities that you like and the things going on okay. in their lives, and that's what this is. So mm -hmm. when I say race to the altar, it is something <laughs> that we can do as a show together to put on a thing to then because they want to come out and see us do something and there's a theater that we've been talking sure. to anyway that we could possibly okay do. i've yeah. got oh. what do you got Roxy? well the person who gives the most money like because maybe it's donation based for the shows gets to come to the wedding gets to come to the wedding maybe, oh. maybe we, well maybe we can do a, a special contest in general oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No problem with that. <laughs> okay that's not going to go over well with you <laughs> <laughs> i i think if somebody gives Thousands of dollars, Julie will let them into your yeah. wedding. We got, we got, we got. Again, we'll, yeah. that might be. <laughs> uh, there, there's going to be after a long screening pr right. uh, process. So okay. ideas, look, it's all here's, ideas. Here's, I was going to say they get to pick the songs or like the oh, cake or yeah. something. Oh wait, hold on a second. Was, wait, 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 we have we have Mrs. Riley is calling in right oh, now. Oh no, Mrs. Riley, um, Mrs. Riley. Uh, so uh, have you been listening to the show? Uh, no, which show were you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, Mr. Riley. You, you just you just called into Collider Live, Mrs. Riley. Oh, is um, that where my son is? Can you tell him that I uh, have Cal's vitamins and okay. that he is going to need okay. them two times a day, okay. every day for the rest of his life? I will. But Mrs. Riley, I do want to get at the issue at hand here. Do you believe um, that John Roca and his lady will get married uh, before your son will? Uh, who is John Roca? Well, that's fair. That's very fair. <laughs> Nobody in the office really knows either. Uh, Mrs. True. Riley, so um, do you like uh, do you like your hu your husband? Your, your do you like your son, do you like your son's uh, fiance? Uh, oh, I love her very much. In fact, when he looked at the first ring, uh, I said, "No, no, no. Julie deserves something bigger oh, than that." Very nice. Mrs. Mrs. True Riley, story. Like True All right. story. Mrs. Riley, uh, handsome. Julie does deserve something bigger than that, right? Uh, oh, oh, Snyder. Ooh. 
Snyder, there I will take is. that Pepsi there's, there's challenge two any things, day of the week. There's my two friend. things you never insult: a man's yeah. a man's crotch size and his yeah, ring right. size. You never oh, insult him. All right, all right. Snyder. So, all right, I do. Um, I, I, I'm very curious to see what the uh, what the audience has been saying. Who they think is going to marry first? Uh, they're saying me. They're saying you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're saying okay. are they buying hands into down, it? overwhelm. Uh, oh, wow. The fans yeah. are saying John Rogas. I'll talk. Get out of here. Yeah. Well. It's, oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Do I have two times? It's because it's because of the fact that the length I've been together we've right. we're already yeah. engaged there's a ring we've already looked at some venues we're already planning the guest list right. is there all that kind it's, of stuff you got, you got a head start I yeah. guarantee you that Roca gets married first wow all I know right. alright let's yeah. see this is alright here, yes. right, here we go now we're gonna get let's get into if it we're gonna end this so we're gonna end this out here too because this is not this is not the last time we're gonna talk about this we're gonna end this with predictions right now Roxy saw her eyes we're gonna get uh, alright so oh, yeah. Josh McCougar Roca Riley who gets married first okay yeah, perfect. No, leave it, leave it, leave the music. Yeah. It's great music. Based solely on where we are mentally, physically, and planning wise, I'm leaning towards John Roke. Wow. All right. All right. So Me too. You got you got just to be hundred percent clear, Julie and Mark will get married. Yes. Right. Like this is not me saying right. that they're not but they Roka are first. thousand percent getting married, but Roke's first. All right, Brett Sheridan. Oh, uh, I'm gonna. I. I. I God. I. I want Mark to get the money. Yeah. Um. But, but I. I have a feeling about Roka. Roka. He's my Roka. guy on the because he. He wants all the belts. <laughs> all the records. <laughs> you know. I mean, and this is one of them. <laughs> all right, Snyder. Roka in a blowout. Wow. TKO. Wow. And then Riley, you got yourself. No, I have Roka. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, it, it's very clear, and everybody's saying it in the chat as well. Vegas is, you know, six hours away. Yeah. Uh, Four. My wedding is a year away. Right. Uh, and we, a wedding. Wow. A big wedding. Not big, but a wedding that we want to plan that's going to be beautiful. It's Julie's dream. That's yeah. what I want to happen. Mm -hmm. they, they were about to get married on Sunday. All right. Well, I'm going to be. Just this play is something I'm I can't time. put on a wedding I'm, I'm gonna we be tomorrow. Gonna I'm going to be the one asshole in the room. I got okay. Riley. Okay, and I'll tell you why. I respect that. I, I, it's not that, and I, and I happen to think that if you, or I think that you're going to lock into the same thing. You're going to live with your lady, mm -hmm. and I think that you guys will feel each other out for a little bit. <laughs> I already love her. If that's I, okay, has nothing, you guys has, not, has nothing, has yeah. nothing to do with that. Uh, because loving, loving somebody and living What's with them is two different things. Yeah, um, I, I think you're gonna, you're gonna feel it out for a bit, and I think Riley will get married first. Mm -hmm. But I, if you continue this. Yeah. The way this, this feeling is happening, I think it'll happen within the year. Okay. So then I would think that the caveat to this thing is yeah. because we're not pushing anybody towards an altar. Right. No. But the money raised at a show or whatever. Yeah, we got some and time. It, and we have some time. It will go towards the wedding, right? If you want to get married and you did something, the money that we raise goes towards yeah. your wedding. Paying for an actual wedding is a lot of effing money, and we right. could do a lot as people with all of that money. Saying as a guy who just got married a year ago, what I'm saying is the money that we raise could go towards a bar at the wedding, towards well, something. Go wedding. towards well, the bachelor you party. Help, Fuck like, this wedding. Starving people, and we're just yeah. trying to have fun, John. Yeah, yeah, well, let, yeah well, let's let's really bore this with the logistics of it. Right, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll figure it. We'll figure it out. Let's, if let's, the people yeah. don't we'll have do enough we'll money the, to give, they do, shouldn't we'll, give. Let's do the logistics. I was logistics major in college. Let's Brett, let's okay. do logistics. I look at logistics. Let's do okay, lo Jurassic Park couldn't run operation <laughs> cost wise. Forget the dinosaurs; they couldn't run operation cost. -wise. Let's do the logistics in the pre-interview of the shows. How so about that? Here we go. So, guys, John Roca, Mark Riley, another battle has begun. Wow! And we are going to go to one more break, and when we get back, we're taking questions from you guys. Hashtag Collider Live. Hashtag Collider Live and get your questions on the air on Twitter. We got it. We're gonna go through them. Mark Riley and you know what? Co have some maybe Cody. Are you able to ask questions from out there? Or is that too much of a pain in the ass? Uh, we'll see. All right, probably not. It'll probably be it'll probably be Riley. Um, so we'll have Riley ask some some questions and we will be back after the break. John Roca, Jeff Snyder. I want to keep Roca on the desk because I have some uh, schmodown questions I want to ask him. Collider Live. Hey everyone, Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still 
pretty good above 50 percent you can watch it monday tuesday wednesday and thursday 4 p.m los angeles time is when we do it it's live so you can participate in the live chat room go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming because it's all the latest movie news of the day who did what at the box office what horrible red box movies bruce willis signed on to the dc the marvel the star wars is the lord of the are they making new i think they're they, it's a tv show and we still might talk about it anyway because we love movies around here it's myself and an extra expert panel of guests, including John Roca, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show, and then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us, so subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk, and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. And Afterthoughts, hosted by Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. I almost said Ryan Williams and Jay Snelling. Would anybody have known the difference? I certainly would. I would have felt bad about it because I'm a nice person, and that's why I host Collider Movie Talk. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. Hi there. I see that you're enjoying Collider Live. After this show, why not check out Collider Games, where we play, well, games. We review games. We talk about things, anything that's going on in the gaming world, our opinions, news, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. If you like it, stick around and subscribe. Hello, Collider fans. I'm Christian Harloff, and you see my stupid name in the background because that's my other show. It's one-on-one -on -one with me, Christian Harloff. What the hell is it? I just sit down and talk to people. I literally just sit down and talk to people about what the hell's going on in their lives and their careers, and it's a long-form interview show. Uh, originally, it aired on Collider Video as far as the YouTube channel goes, but we moved it on over, and it's on the Collider Video Podcast, Collider Podcast, excuse me, on YouTube Go on over there if you want to see the video and to see the pretty faces that I'm talking to. Had some great guests over the past. Um, and we're going to have a lot more. And there's going to be people that you, maybe some celebrities or actors and actresses, producers, writers, all that stuff. But there's also a lot of the people that you know around here. I could have Copster on there. I could have Jeff Snyder, John Roca, Mark Riley, Roxy Stryer, whoever. And I'm going to find out more about them. Long form and also go to Apple Podcasts and check out the one-on-one -on -one feed with Christian Harloff. And not only is my show on there, Mark Riley, the Riley Roundtable, which is another sit-down, long-form interview show. That's also there. And when Steve Frosty Weintraub talks to Kevin Smith or George Takei, that's going to be on that podcast feed also. So if you're taking a long drive and you like those long-form interviews, pop on the one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff. Give it a rate, comment, do all that because it helps the show and it makes Podcast One go, hey, you know what? Those people should get ad money. Hello everyone, Perry here, and what I've got to do right now is remind you that Mailbag airs every Saturday and Sunday right here on the Collider Video YouTube channel and also in podcast form as well. Podcast One, iTunes, we are on the Movie Talk feed, and this is the show where we get to sit back and relax and discuss a whole variety of questions that you guys send in. You send them in on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, Mailbag at Collider.com. Send in those questions and maybe myself and my special guest for the week, that's what this blank spot is for, will answer your question right here on one of the shows. So don't forget, check out Collider Mailbag every Saturday and Sunday on the Collider Video YouTube channel. We are back. It's Collider Live and it is... What the hell is today? It's Wednesday, and Hump day. it is 11.30 a.m. PST, or a little, little after, and we are we on a good show so far, so, man. We have uh, we got Josh McCuga, Roxy Stryer. Hey, Christian. How are you doing? Hey, Christian. We've got uh, Hi, Christian. Brett Sheridan drinking a LaCroix. we got Mark Ryan. I asked Ooh, him what flavor it was. I said, Brett, what flavor is it? Brett, what did you tell me? Pepino. It's not Pepino. I go, I go that's Pepino. not a flavor. You know, it's not the it's not the flavor. Look at the flavor; it's underneath. Blackberry cucumber. That, but that's more like pepino. All right, then we got John Roca here and Mark <laughs> Riley. Mm. Um, now, before we get into, we, like I said, we you guys have been <laughs> hashtagging Collider Live and asking a bunch of questions, and we're going to answer all your questions. We're going to go through them today and close out the last half an hour of the show. 
we got a big thing. If you look at the cackling Josh McCougar over there, we have a we got a poster in the back there. And our last live event of the Schmodown on September eighth, it goes down. It is going to be something special. If you were at the last one, it was one of the greatest things that we had done so far. My my tenure doing just doing this, it was so much fun. The people were screaming and yelling, and so much investment in this thing. If you're in LA or not even in LA, people were flying out for all over the place. I will tell you that this is probably the last chance you're going to get to see one of these for a while. So buy those tickets over at schmodownlive.com. And Mark, or by the way, Josh McCuga, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, like most great trilogies, yeah, they end, but eventually will be reborn. <laughs> so, yeah. in some but, shape or form. but you're going to be there. I am. Uh, Elliot and I will be doing some crowd warm up at the Ooh. top of the show yep. to get the crowd. And a lot of people, I posted, uh, I have these Josh McCuga for Jeopardy buttons, and people are like, oh, where do I get them? Where do we get them? If you come to the show, you bring a bunch, right? I'll bring a All bunch right, of the show, and you, you know, I'll throw them out in the crowd, whatever the case may be. Yeah. Uh, and but Elliot and I are going to do some crowd warm up. I'm psyched. Listen. That one on, on the last one that we did, that was so much freaking fun. The crowd was insane. If you have never been to one of these live ones, make it your business to get there. It is a blast. The last live show is where Finstock told me that he was buying the European city. Oh, I don't want to talk so, about that. Oh, it was a city. It's a, it's yeah, a city. It's a city. It's okay, a city. we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I'm yeah. happy to say I've been invited to be in the audience. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, someone that you won't, and me both, man. Someone that won't I know be. people. In the audience, someone that will actually be competing at the second his second time at a live event. He mm. competed in the first one. He is going to be doing it again, but this time teaming up with his longtime rival, now stablemate, his stablemate Dan Merle making a return in his first live event is John Roca, the outlaw. Yeah, John, this is a you're doing you're doing this live event, my man. So, yeah. um, how are you feeling going into this thing? Because Stacy is a good competitor oh, yeah. and is is yeah, really I think an underrated mm -hmm. competitor. Yeah. And Winston Marshall has shown that he's been doing some shit. So we've seen upsets before in this league. Yeah, we've seen a lot of big upsets. Uh, how are you feeling going into this match? Well, nervous, absolutely. I mean, Dan and I are good, good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are, are like we work together really. Well, I don't know. We have a lot of trivia knowledge, and I think we'll work together really well. But Stacy's not someone you can sleep on. Winston's not someone you can sleep on. And the fact that they're underdogs motivates them. I found that in the Schmodown League right. that when you're the underdog, and I was the underdog for a year against yeah. Dan, yeah. like people cheer for you. People, you find this extra level. And we saw that with Andrew Guy recently. We saw when Team Action beat Team Top Ten. A lot of people didn't think that was going to happen. So we've seen numerous JT beating McWeeny. Right. We've seen it happen many times. Bakuga beating Clark. That was a hell of a match. Dan. A lot of people thought Clark was going to win. Yeah. Well, and the Finstock one, but. Since yeah, then, yeah, yeah, you know, oh, and sixty. Yeah, you're coming back around. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but, so, but, Dan, but I'm excited. But Dan, Dan is hungry. Woo, woo, that's that's woo. what I was going to ask you. So Dan, who had been around, been away for a little bit, yeah. came back, had a big, uh, big upset loss at the Collider Collision to Andrew Guy. Yeah, a fluke. But now he is. It's I, I've been getting texts from him. He seems like he's ready to kick some ass. Yeah, I mean, you know, when he walked out of that match, he was shaken. You can't deny that. Dan, I've never seen Dan that way before. Even in our losses to you or to me, uh, I've never seen him that way. Uh, and I was worried, and I was like wondering what we're gonna do because we just brought him back. I didn't want him to ruin his legacy. I didn't want him to be worried about that. But you know, I kept telling, I kept telling him, "Dude, you're gonna bounce back." You're gonna, and he was telling Riley, like, "Oh, Roke is doing his thing again." But eventually, he came back around because you gotta motivate a guy. He's, That's my job as yeah. leader of the Horsemen is to motivate these guys and tell them how much I respect them, love, and them, how support good them, he is, and how yeah. great they are. Yeah, yeah. It's all, all, all four besides me, all four of them are. I incredible saw him. He looks like the Dan Old. When yeah, I, when he I texted saw him. me as soon as we, yeah. as soon as the teams were. Announces like, what are we going to do? What's our name? What are we going to call the right. What are we going to do? When are we going to train? Blah blah blah. So he's ready. He's hyped. Right. He wants revenge. How bad on the do loss. you guys want those titles? Uh, really bad. Yeah, I want my title titles back. Right. It's bullshit that that that, that old man and his uh, little midget took the title for a year and a half. It was ridiculous. <laughs> right. I we want call them titles. little people. Oh, I'm right. sorry. Well, we're going to find. We're also going to find out. We're going to the Shire the vertically rules, challenged. Shire yep. rules are going up against Brienne and a mystery partner this Friday, and we're going to find out who oh. we have new champions. Oh yeah. So we are going to find that out. But you. Guys, looking to get those titles, and in the yeah. main event, you got Dan's lady, yeah, Mara Kanopic, Mara. going for her first title, four and zero, going up against your stable mate here, yeah. Jason Inman. It's a tough situation, yeah, man. How's that going? It's a, it's a, Dan's a, Dan. Dan, I think Dan, obviously Dan's going to go for Mara. I, I think Jason's being understanding about it, but he's, yeah. but it, it, Jason's there to win. Yeah, Mara, I'm sure is there to win. In her, right. and listen, by the way, let's all destroy this mystique of Mara a little bit. She is as hungry and competitive as anybody else. This whole stick she does where she says, oh, did I win? Oh, I didn't know I won. Don't, don't 100% mm -hmm. uh, accept that. She, she's, she's a driven, she, yeah. knowledgeable woman, and she wants she to win that shit. title. So All right. So if Jason 
doesn't get suckered in by that, I think he'll have a great match. She's a, she's a performer. I, she really yeah, is. Yeah, she is. September 8th, guys, at the El Portal Theater in North Hollywood. September 8th. Get your tickets now. There's only, again, I think like now it's like 75 tickets left. And it is schmodownlive.com. Get them now. Come out and watch the event. Say hello. And that's it. But we're now going to move on over to hear from you guys. Hashtag yeah. Collider Live. There's a lot of shit kind of coming in, Riley, been t- since the beginning of the show. Lots. And Lots. We, oh, yeah. And also drop those comments in the podcast feed. Make sure you've gone over to Collider Live on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe to the feed. Leave a comment for a chance to win Avengers Infinity War on Blu-ray. Do that right now or if you're listening on the replay. All right, Riley. All right. Come. So the first one's a great one. Perfect for this. Uh, friendly Neighbor asks, what kind of drunk is everyone? Makuga strikes me as an emotional dude when he drinks. Well, I'm an emotional dude in general. Uh, yeah. I've been known to cry here and there uh, <laughs> all the time. And you tell little uh, fibs when you're long. I do. I do. I get a little fibby when I'm drunk, but I'm, <laughs> I am, uh, I'm also a very demure, fun drunk. I'm not, oh, not yeah. demure. I'm, not, I'm a very loving drunk. I've never mm. been an angry drunk. I've never gotten fights. I'm just a guy that really likes to have a great time. So if somebody says... Hey, let's go get drunk. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And yeah. then I'm, I want to be everybody's best friend. I'm the, I have so much fun. With I'm the later. same actually when I'm drinking. I get pretty silly when I'm when I'm drinking. Mm-hmm. I don't ever. I don't, you get lovey too. I do get lovey. Yeah, you're yeah, like, I, get Man, I love you. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. Because first of all, if I'm in a really, if I'm in a bad mood, I don't drink because uh-huh. I don't. First of all, I, th- I think that's that could lead into a lot of things for a lot of people mm-hmm. doing that, and I just feel that there's nothing good that comes out of it, right. so I don't do it if I'm in a bad mood. But like normally. I'm a pretty. I'm a pretty fun drunk. I don't drink vodka because it gets sloppy. Mm-hmm. It gets sloppy. Mm-hmm. Broke, do you get it? How are you? Uh, I think when I was younger, I was an angry drunk. Yeah. There's a lot of. When I was in military. There's a lot of holes in walls and doors yeah. off hinges from those times because I hated. There was lots of me that hated being in the military. But now I'm a very relaxed, funny drunk. Like, yeah. I'm surprised. I'm funnier when I'm drunk than I am sober. So right. I just enjoy. Beardo, being do you I think am. that's true? That he's funnier when he's drunk? Yeah. I don't know. Was he drunk on stage in Comic-Con? <laughs> oh. No, but I was oh. later with your mom. <laughs> hey. All right. All right. All right. All right. 50 right. years old Talk about your sloppy mama cheek. <laughs> Just like that beard of yours? All yeah. right. Hold on. I, I, that was my fault. All right. Riley. Can a 12-year-old wear a beard like this? <laughs> okay. just, I should have uh, held that until uh, Monday. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big slur. Uh, I, I get very happy and very lovey as well. Yeah. Uh, depends on is this a one bottle of wine, Riley, or a two bottle right. of wine, oh. yeah. Riley? Which I've been known to do. Yeah, but, you do lovey dovey uh, also. I do the lovey dovey. Yeah. I get very, I can get talkative, but then uh, towards the end, maybe around that second uh, bottle Sleep. of wine, I get very introverted and go, oh yeah. shit. Well, <laughs> and this is, I can, I can tell you how Brett is. Hey. Now hold on a hey, minute. Hey, that was a long time ago. Hey. I'm not allowed to get drunk anymore. Uh, <laughs> I have a monitor that can hear me go to yeah. the kitchen. And but when you do, how many was that? But when you, but when you do, uh, when I do, hey, hey, hey. hey. and I, yeah, I, she, she can tell the telltale is the, is the, and the slur. When the slur yeah. happens, it's, it's you're, you're done. Right, we're leaving. Oh, yeah. You're done. That's good. See, oh, yeah, yeah Julie's done that. Where she's just like, you're slurring, babe. All right, all right. All right so there goes everybody's it's type fine. of drunk. Um, what kind of drunk are you? Oh wait, do we Roxy? Roxy, yeah. Roxy. I'm sorry, I thought you were right. Oh, I've seen these. Insta- I've seen these Instagram let's hear it. stories. Let's hear it. Uh, Fun, flirty, feisty. Fun, yeah. flirty, feisty. Mm-hmm. The triple uh, F. Yeah, definitely used to be more like you said, Roca. Mm-hmm. I was an angry drunk for a long time. Uh, so and next the, convers- uh, next T-shirt is FFF. Yeah, fun, flirty, feisty. <laughs> uh, like very touchy feet. Like oh, mm. I love everybody and like yeah, but used to be really mm. mean and bitchy. Really, why is that? Uh, cause I was shit going on in your head. Yeah, yeah. I was a mean bitchy person who was living yeah. a really hard life, and, wow. and now I'm a, a better person who's mm. living a better life. Are you happy? You're happier now. Yeah, definitely. good. I'm glad. I, I saw the change when I first met you. I saw that it was kind of like the the gloves were up. You guys were on the very edge of mean rocks. That was the end of it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You were you were catching yeah. the tail. So. Yeah, you're sweetheart now. Yeah, I, I try. You mm. forget people when you drink. <laughs> yeah, about that. O- only the people that don't matter. Oh, oh. oh. all right. Just next. kidding. Next question. She's one of the best people to drink with you'll ever drink with. Next I question. Can, I put that on there. What do you got? Uh, next question. Uh, what is the stinkiest food, or who makes the stinkiest foods in the office in the Collider Live fridge? So, I mean, it's so easy. It's yeah, Christian it's every kind time. Of, yeah. It's Christian. Going off that one salmon dish I made at the old office. What, uh, man, the there was day you burnt the office down with a turkey burger. Yeah, yeah the, bur- turkey, the turkey we burgers went through this. smelled delicious. They were they good, went, though. We went through They were this. very good. Yeah. The stuff I cook 
First of all, none of it burns. You're, you're a good fucking Shut cook. your mouth. Yeah. Um, what happens is there's no ventilation system here. Uh-huh. So, yeah, it's, so I w- it's going to stink up any. They, you, make, they, you make a fucking Pop-Tart, it's going to stink up yeah. the office. The true answer is that we, we don't know. Sometimes people just leave the food in the fridge, and yeah. you open that thing mm. up, and, pe- and like, Disaster. you know. stinks. Yeah. yeah, right at the front door, I mean, somebody just falls dead. So yeah. it happens. All right, next question. Uh, yep. Is Roka's uh, girlfriend into Transformers? Oh, that's a good question, Jonathan actually. Jonathan Caro asks she, She's... N- I, yeah, no. I haven't even asked. I can't imagine that she would be. N- no. Yeah, she's into British shows and right. British movies. Ooh, what okay. British show does she like? She loves everything really? British. Really? Gavin, really? And, Gavin and Stacey. Keep her away from David into. Griffin. Everything that, everything that you love. Uh, everything Griffin loves. My wife loves? and her should talk. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. Everything Griffin loves, uh, yeah. I'm sure she's seen like three or four times over. Wow. All right. Yeah. There you go. Midsummer right. Murder. She was I was like, what the hell is this? Right. I watched Death in Paradise. What's that? Oh, uh, yeah. What the Bill Nagy one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I watched that on PBS. Riley, what do you got? Uh, speaking of which, uh, I couldn't find it, but I'm gonna. What's uh, everybody's favorite TV show that you wouldn't expect would be in there? You just brought that up. Oh. I'll start. Yeah. Chopped. I'm. I'm. Uh, I watch <sighs> Chopped. You should watch. All you should the watch time. Chopped High. Chopped you stress high. the fuck out. It's uh, incredible. Why? Because you're like, they're not gonna get it done in time. They're not gonna get it done right. in time. How are they gonna make this dessert? It's not possible. Is that how you react? I would just, I would just, I would just get hungry. Yeah, yeah. I would just get hungry. Uh, uh, I get, I get hungry, and I do watch it hot. That's the bottom um, uh, because I'm falling asleep usually when I'm oh, watching I chop. Watch and last night it was the Grill Masters, and you're oh. sitting there watching like some beef brisket. So the reality, it's reality stuff. For you. Yeah, okay. I love it. Anytime I, I tweet about Big Brother, people are like, "You watch this? I never would have thought you would watch this." So I guess that because it's on three times a week, and I watch the live feeds like I'm a psychopath with yeah. it that show is the f- shit like it is so good she's trying to get me to watch Big Brother since I've known her and I, will I never Sam, like Sam Levine Sam Levine loves it drives it. me insane I know ha- we did a hashtag for him to be on yeah. Celebrity Big Brother right, right, what right. happened with that oh. CBS can't say I uh, I I mean yeah what don't you watch <laughs> yeah a lot of, but I, I'm a huge Fixer Upper fan All love right. Fixer Upper mm. do you watch Jeopardy <laughs> Just watch do, you, yeah, do you got anything Brett yeah uh Riverdale. Riverdale. I, I like oh, the Riverdale. So good. Yeah. Riverdale? Um, and then, but I have a lot of obscure shit that my wife yeah. makes me watch. Uh, Lords and Ladles. Yes! Uh, I heard of that. You it is that. amazing. Yeah. It is like, it's this Irish show about these oh. chefs that like. I said I've heard of that. I heard about it from him. No, no, He's telling me about it afterwards. 1,700 recipes and bring up these old books where they used to weigh you before you'd come to the dinner it's party. It's scripted? And it's not scripted. It's just, yeah. it's a, they cook these really, really old. Okay. It's like sheep's teeth and lamb sheep's ankles. Teeth. I mean, it's right. weird <laughs> shit that people used to eat. They, I would rather you eat show a tooth. Uh, maybe. And, and then, uh, you know, pole dark, of course. All right. Well, for me, <laughs> pole dark. I'll tell you, like, uh, because I have I to pick and choose like, stuff that I, that I watch because, mm-hmm. again, it's, it's just, it's a lot of screenings that I go to, too. When I get home, it's like, wife is with the kids yeah. all in long. So she's like, the fucking TV is mine right now. Yeah. So uh, it's, uh, and so uh, the shows that she watches <laughs> that I've actually said, you know, like last night, she, and I, you know, you guys know that I worked at, at Bachelor, right? I can't do the Bachelor and Bachelor, right? I just can't do it. But the Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise, I get it. It's a fucking train wreck. I got, I, I, yeah. I do, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll, like last night, I found myself going, like, well, who's this guy with? <laughs> right? and, and I was like, oh, all right. And there's some one guy that's actually pretty funny. But the other one that she watches that she's been watching forever that I think is a lot of talented people is So You Think You Can Dance. Mm-hmm. Like I'll, And my daughter now watches it too, so it's kind of a thing that we do. So yeah. there you go. Mm-hmm. All right, what's next? Uh, okay, uh, where'd it go? Is Mr. Wiggly going to compete in the Schmodown? Never. Some, no, there I'll, I'll, you are. No, no, I'll answer that, too. And I, I think, you know, as much as Christian will give me a hard time and say he's not going to put me in it, I know why he's not going to do it, and it is a what? sincere thing, because he doesn't want me to look like a complete jackass and be, you know, like... Because I will fail miserably. Right. I'm not going to win this. He asked me a question about a movie I saw the night before that I was reviewing about the lead character's name, and I didn't remember it. Right. <laughs> right. So, well, the answer to the question is so now that we do the exhibition matches, um, maybe. Because yeah. we did, we just did one yesterday, fun. by the way. What I'll tell you is, for on the Patreon for, uh, for Schmodown, is uh, the exclusive match. We did a, an Iron Man Jurassic Park match mm-hmm. between Cody Hall and Perry Nimroff. It is... One of the best matches I have. It is impressive. these two. Awesome. I mean, were they both impressive? It was incredible. Really, it they was incredible. I, I, be honest. I went into it going, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to watch more than five minutes of this match. I watched the whole thing, mm. and the end of it was. I felt like I was watching the Schmodown Spectacular at the end of it. I was like, wow. Awesome. So yeah, you can go check that out. It'll be up at the end of the month if you're uh, if you're a patron. Um, Okay, so what? Let's do. Uh, let's see. We got. Uh, we'll take Josh on. Let's do two sports more. movie match. That'd right, be awesome. Right. Movie. Two be more fun. Two more. Okay, what's the panel's take? Quote the Raven says, "What's the panel's take on today's music? Any guilty pleasures? What do you oh, listen to?" 
Microsoft guys are going to get very mad that we're talking about music, but yeah. fuck them. Yeah. Uh, talking about, uh, it's me, it's, 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 it's always scores. So I, 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 mean, I listen to scores and I just pop. I don't even know what the fuck is. is you listen on. to trance a lot. You're a big I do, trance I do, guy. I do, you're right. That's I do, actually. What? Yeah. It helps me, it helps me uh, write. Wow. Yeah. It help, like he I, got yeah. me into it. Yeah. Writing. It helps me write. Mm-hmm. I, I, when, I, when I'm in my office, I put on, like, I'll go, I'll just put trance instrumental, like 2018, and just put on shit. And, like, it, it is the most mind clearing stuff. I've, I'm a curmudgeon. So you, hate, you hate it, Roxy? Uh, uh, no, um, I, I rolled to a lot of trance music, oh. and it, it, it hurts my head. I understand that. Berlin and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you used to go to Berlin a lot? Berlin? <laughs> yeah. what, a, what a drop, I Berlin. Know, uh, yeah. Vince talks there right now. Yeah, yeah. I had a flashback. Oh, right, that's fair. <laughs> what do you got? Music. No, goes. I can't. I, I'm a curmudgeon when it comes to music. Uh, everybody knows that my music ends in... Classic rock. I listen to all yacht rock pretty much all the time. Yep. And rap nowadays is a atrocious compared to the rap that I grew up on. And yep. I have a huge problem with the fact that there are no more hooks in rap. Yeah. Mm. That's all. I, I hate how much I like Drake. I yeah. I can't. I try to not like Drake. But you do. I do. That's fair. I, nice for what? You know, you know who pop back on? Song. You know who pop back on? I, I put I, every morning if I'm listening to music, I just plug my phone in and I just put it on random shit that comes up from like 80s to mm. 10 years ago. And I've been listening to a lot of T.I., Oh, like, oh that's some nice. of his shit's Dude. fucking awesome. Yeah. When they used to sample early Kanye West when he sampled awesome songs. Oh yeah, Nate Dogg and yeah. when he was singing hooks. Ah, oh, God, it's so yeah. good. Fred Little early Alabama. Kanye's best Kanye. Uh, no, I, I I do a lot of like uh, uh, Iron and Wine. Oh, okay, uh, and I you know I Touchy like feely the, stuff. the head and the heart. Yeah. Um, but then when I want to get heavy, I like Royal Blood. Lately, I've been listening to a right, lot right. of. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I love all genre. Yeah. So I, gotta, I love the Spotify because you, know you can put on one thing and then mm. it, it shows you new. You so know. Snell- brought to you by Spotify. Snelling and Williams every every fucking week they're talking about their their sight and sound show. They talk about music, right? I've got to listen to it once, yeah. right? And I uh, I haven't, but I'm but I I'm contemplating. Listening I just to don't it. know them enough about music. Here, but here's the thing: this is why the, that's why you listen to the show because they do music shows, right? I'm gonna listen to that show once, mm-hmm. and if I don't come out with some stuff that I want to listen to, I'm never listening to it again. <laughs> But if I come out to it to where I actually care about stuff, because I don't want to be recommended shit that's like, I want the, the show should recommend music to everyone. Right. And when you listen to Williams and Snelling, like they seem to know their shit when it comes to music. But again, let's see. I'm going to give it a shot. You I'm should check it. Yeah. If you guys are like into old stuff, uh, like Zeppelin and stuff, Greta Van Fleet sounds exactly like a new Led Did Zeppelin. Did she direct uh, Lady Bird? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, last one. Then we got to get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah, I, I listen to jazz. Okay. He didn't ask me either. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna move. It's my favorite. I'll let Kevin, you. I'll let you. you can Kevin, what is the dumbest way you've injured yourself? Hashtag <laughs> parallel parking. Par- you injured yourself. Yeah, I heard my, um, something. Did something? Not, not, it was like two, three years ago. It was parallel parking turned the wrong way? Was fucked up for like a month. Oh wait, I so you like know. a crick? It was like something in my back. Okay. Yeah, uh, Roxy. No, I don't know. Give oh, it. Say, say you want What's your favorite music? Oh, you guys know I grew up with classic rock. That's right. all I yeah. do. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sounds about right. Because your dad I, was a musician. So. Uh, I put, mi- uh, put together Aerosmith. Wow. Went back together. Your They're still did. doing it. My dad did. Wow. Yeah, he knew that. He I put, did. He put back together Aerosmith because he was working with Joe Perry. Um, I, I knew and, this. Like, we're going to get into yeah. this more next time here on the show. All right, I threw my back out getting a 12-pack of Coke out of the trunk. <laughs> okay. I mean, really well, bad. Riley? I injured my wrist falling walking cow. <laughs> nice. All right. R- R- Roka just did it now by talking about his relationship. I, yeah, just moving around. Yeah, I, yeah my relationship. No, um, at, when I was working at Universal Studios last year, I stepped on a cobblestone walking out to do a set, completely uh, injured the middle part of oh. my left foot, and to catch myself from falling on my ass in front of the guests, I slammed my right foot into yeah. another cobblestone and injured my right foot. So both feet... In the middle of the top, oh. hurt like a motherfucker Actually, all the time when in, I walk. Did yeah. anybody know that were you, the guests? Oh yeah, out, <laughs> they, <take a> <laughs> no. they saw one keeper doing with a big cloak going. No, this you know, was I, they, yeah. There was I a little actually, bit of humor. I actually remembered when I was nineteen. I was working at this movie theater in Queens. I might have told you the story. Yeah, it might sound so my friend Brian Nash was like this fucking wild man, right? And he he was he was come on, let's go on. The, let's we went to the back of the theater, right? We're supposed to, we're working, and there's this. Um, like this, stu- no, it's, it's this ledge, and on the other side is like where you jump. On, you, if you can try, he tries to jump on it. He jumps up on it, pulls himself up one of those like picture the New York kind of um, yeah. stairwells, and he right. jumps up, leaps over, pulls himself over. And I'm like, holy shit, it's cause like fucking Spider Man, right? So I'm like, but of course he did it. So I'm like, I'm gonna do it. And I leap once, oh, I miss it. <laughs> Le- I leap twice, I miss it. He's like, dude, don't push it. And I go, catch it. 
I drop off and I land on my back and I fucking break. Oh. What the hell did I break? I broke something over here. And I said I tripped over a hose. And, <laughs> and so that way they let me off. But like I was I was fucked up bad. I yeah, I just tried to hurt my it was my whole arm. But um but yeah, and that's that's the stupidest weather. Real, real I remember. quick. I, oh sorry, real quick. Recently, and this is pissing me off and how about being old. I was <laughs> reaching into the uh, to the dishwasher and I s- jammed it into my corner of my thumb a fork. Tong, oh, right? Yeah. This has been a week and a half ago. It's still painful. <laughs> My kids cut themselves. It's like fucking Wolverine. It just immediately seals up. I, why won't this go away? All right. And with that, that is this <laughs> episode of Collider Live, episode three. A lot of fun here today. I'd like to thank all of you guys for joining us. Make sure you hashtag Collider Live every single day here. Monday, actually Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is when we are live on Collider Video. Go to that podcast feed. I'm telling you, subscribe and leave a comment. We're going to be doing a lot of giveaways like that. If you, you also, if you like this show, it helps us get into the conversation, into those rankings. Guys, you guys will help make this show a thing as you already are doing it. Go on over there. Listen to it on the road. Two hours, four hours, six hours every week. It's a Collider Live crew. We'll see you on Monday, you motherfucks.